A quick glance here, game one, making sure everyone's got their resources, everything's good to go. Not seeing any issues. Um, Hera, he's over on the right side now, and we've got Leary on the left side here for the semifinal. But man, these guys look so good. Like, uh, Hera, you kind of expected it, because Hera's just so much more active than the majority of other players. Uh, and so, you know, activity is just a big thing when it comes to being in shape. But, you know, with Leary, at times we'd seen him have to ease into even a quarterfinal, and he wouldn't bring peak Leary level to a quarterfinal. He had to do that against ACCM, and he looked so good on so many different settings. Yeah, ACCM took him, though, to that fifth game. Mm -hmm. I had yep. the hopes, dude. <laughs> I did, I too, want, man. Not, I really... It's not that I want to see Leary do badly. I just want to see ACCM do well. Yeah. He's getting closer and closer every single event, mm -hmm. though, right? Mm -hmm. And before you know it, Season 3 will roll around, and he already he won his group this time, and I think he's learning a lot, too, so... But, yeah, I, I'd be interested to see how Hera plays it here. I think that this is going to be a classic uh, play-to-your-strengths type moment for him. And I think Hera's actually going to be the bigger aggressor of the two. I think he's really going to like delay the walls compared to his opponent. That said, I mean, he's got a he's got a pretty nice back goal there. If he scouts that, which he has done, he could actually incentivize be incentivized to wall up um, between these wood lines and use that back goal, especially if Leary wants to go for archers later. That's going to be really nice. I like how Hera's not even like threatened by the idea that Larry might come forward with his camel scout. Yep. He's got a goat chilling to the right. He's got goats, two goats he hasn't found in the back. Yep. He's just going to take the time to push the zebra. So probably monitoring Leary's score a little bit to see if he's actively scouting as well. And then just assuming that Leary's going to be pushing in the zebra, which he is. Leary, of course, has the goats inside of his mill. He's got eight of them in there. And I, I, I want to see if he, he ejects two of those oh that's yeah what we've seen from a lot of people with Gajaras later on before going into farms they get like two more goats out of that mill and then they leave just six inside mm -hmm. so you're gonna go for a second lumber camp too i mean it's not the craziest thing but the fact that he is doing it is something worth pointing out because a lot of players on these fast up times are only going one lumber camp bro i have i have yet to meet anybody on planet earth that counts lumber camps more than you do it's important, Dave. It's build orders. <laughs> I know, dude, I know. But like the amount of times you bring up the second, third timing of I've lumber never camps. brought up a third lumber camp. No one talks about I... the third lumber camps. All right. The second okay. I'll give you. The second you're Write spot on. I talk about it Write all the it time. So mm -hmm. we'll see if he can get his stable timing right uh, on the back of this and, and whatever else. But yeah, I mean, both players know each other so well. And Leary, he is finally going to move out now. Maybe he's even going to push in the final Zebra here, but he's going to have plenty of food yeah. coming in. Hera is opting to wall a little bit. And as I said, the more I see it from him here too, it just seems like an easy thing to do in that area. Just just play towards walls, play towards farms. That's Hera's MO. Is Hera Hera's going to assume Leary's in the corner because he's in the corner. So he's going to skip right past Leary's base. He doesn't see the gold at the front. Oh. Doesn't see the barracks timing for him. Nothing. He just assumes he's in the corner. Yeah. Like, I'm in a corner. You should be in the corner too. Yeah, seriously. I mean, he might double back here. It's kind of hard to look for indicators on this map because, well, he's going to find it now. There we go. Now he finds the mill and he'll find the house and he'll find the chopped tree and he'll find the barracks and I shouldn't be commentating over what he finds. Because... <laughs> well, he finds the archer day. range. I'll, I'll jump in there. He finds the archer range. And that was actually a good heads-up play from Hera because he saw the terrain get green again. And he was like, wait a second. What's going mm -hmm. on here? So good awareness. He now knows it's archers. And I wasn't assuming we'd see archers from Leary. Uh, I thought that we would maybe see scouts. Leary has just now found Hera. Uh, but And he'll see Hera stable. But he has to be careful not to lose his camel scout. And I'm sure he's going to want to bring that spearman to the front here. The positioning of the spearman for Leary currently is a little awkward for me. Uh, just wandering the middle of the map, but he's gonna have to try and do some damage here with the archers early. Hera's got a lot more potential though. Uh oh. And yeah, like what is this? Uh, what yep. is this, Leary? You you never send out an archer here without the spearman. No, and now he knows the archer is dead, so he's just trying to pull it out. No, there's a spearman up there. Okay. There you go. So okay. The spearman will protect the archer, but Hera's definitely gonna get that at some point. Yeah, like just, that that archer's already dead. It's for just, sure. It feels very wasteful, right? Uh, he we, is. 
kind of finding a villager though, Leary, but he was attacking the wall instead of the vill with his camel scout. So I can see Hera just attacking the spear here. It's a Frank scout, right? So whatever, you know the archer's just one or two hits away from death, and just a great start here from Hera, and a super questionable start there from Leary. Like, I've seen him go for openings like this so many times, he never moves out with a spearman not protecting his archer. He does have almost full HP camel scout, though, a spearman and an archer coming in, yes. and if there's one thing that Leary is very good at, it's finding value from extremely low numbers of units. I hope he's good at walling. Like limited upgrades. I hope he's good at walling. What's going on on the left side here? Hera's gonna get in. Late house. Yep, what in the world? Late house. And it was tiny walls on the wood line initially, which doesn't make sense if you're going for full walls. So Hera with a great start. Hera now could lose a villager, and he wisely backs away. So good aggression here from Leary. I think this is the definition there's a hole of in that sloppy. Wood line, dude. Oh There's my a hole goodness. in the wood line. Oh my god. This is why you install cube mod. I quoted that for Max and Blessa. <laughs> but Leary traps him in, but traps him in to his own funeral. Yeah. Like th three there's... dead villagers in here. Wow, man. Like, I mean, the shape that Leary was in and Hera was in in their quarters and just how good they were, even from the opening game. This is the exact opposite here. I mean, losing four villagers at the start is brutal. I guess on the bright side, he is going to kill these. He's going to overchop. He's going to overchop. He's going to lose one oh more. Oh, my God, dude. This is so fra- Leary, it's, we know the sound that Leary is making right now. Ay, uh, ay, ay. That he makes all the time. He does end up walling in the scouts, which is somewhat of a moral victory, I suppose. But uh, you've already lost five villagers. Yeah. 13 minutes into the game. It's it's basically over unless you can do something drastic. Yep. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Either early castle age or right now. Hera is making a lot of additional scouts. He's kind of forcing a fight that he probably wouldn't force in any other circumstance. But knowing he's ahead, he's happy to do this. He will kill the archers again, and all that Leary is going to be left with is one archer, two archers, two spearmen. Which still could be annoying, and, you know, he's mm -hmm. going to have more archers coming forward. He's got five archers now. Hera hasn't decided on an archer range. So Hera not transitioning to skirms here is a little surprising. But a much cleaner start here for Hera, and the dream start for a semifinal against Leary. Yeah, and you're going to almost have your full walls down, too. Yep. So there's no opportunities for Leary to pressure you. And the only way Leary comes back in this game is with some sort of all-in, I yep. think. You can't just weather the storm against Hera because he will get greedy and build up his eco as well. And he's already so far ahead of you. Yeah. I mean, if Hera doesn't add any skirms, though, and continues to, you know, play this type of game with more archers on the way, you absolutely could have some problems. Like I'm not a, I'm not a fan. The entire army. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's, I, it's he really started to force it here, and yeah, Hera's got one scout. If Leary can bring his archers forward, which he still hasn't done, they they're still at his base. It'd be Dude, good. Greatest last stands in history. That spear <laughs> right there he takes out four scouts. It would have died so much faster as well if it wasn't a one tile choke there, because the other yeah. the scouts just couldn't surround. But okay, so Hera. He cleans up the army, 14 to 7 KD. He's killed five villagers, mm -hmm. and he is fully walled now, and he's close to clicking up the castle age. Uh, Leary's uptime could still be salvaged here. He's still got berries. He, of course, has all the food income from the goats in his mill, and he's got some farms. But... I'm honestly surprised Leary's position is as good as it is right now. Yeah, but that's it's true. it's still terrible. That's true. It's still awful. Yeah, man, it, it was a mix of, like, sloppiness, not having the wall, and then yeah. unluckiness, I think, with the overchop, and, and Hera obviously took full advantage there. But yeah, I, you're right. I mean, the uptime's still going to keep Leary in this, and if there is a positive, it's not like this is, like, <clears throat> um, fortified clearing, where mm -hmm. it's so easy to expand your eco, and someone in Hera's position can just outboom him. Usually, it's an all-in map anyways. Normally, aggression's needed, so... Still going to be potential for Leary, who's got his archers. You have to imagine it's going to be a mix of crossbow and camels. So we'll probably see a stable here shortly. And Leary's on the way up, as is Hera. Hera kind of... I, I would have loved to see him save those scouts. Yeah, I agreed with like, you. Like, you, you already have the full wall off coming down there. You have opportunities to keep the units out. You don't really care about an archer and a spearman. Imagine if he had four scouts giving him vision right now instead of just one. Yep, I think, really nice. uh, you know, even if he had four skirms right now, had he had he not made as many scouts and he just would have gone skirms, obviously Leary would have played a little bit differently. But you would stop Leary from 
you know, walling up right now. And mm -hmm. of course, those archers could always be picked off. Those archers didn't have fletching at all, so wouldn't have done much damage there. We're going to see forging for Hera, an upgrade that I like here. I think that that's that gives you uh, a little bit more firepower against monks or anything you attack, really. And he's just scouting the rest stable. of the map right now with his yep. scout, which could be useful. If you're getting pushed, you're going to need to get access to different golds and stones. So I remember the yeah, game from Dragon also... where he did that. See four relics. Oh, yeah, that wild game where he went out to the side. Yeah, he snuck out of his base when he was yeah. under pressure. Yeah. Double stable sneak. Yeah, it's wild. I like well, what Leary has done since the damage he's taken, Dave. He's adding mm -hmm. camels in feudal, which his Sif can do, and he's moving forward with 12 archers. And the timing, I think, is going to be surprising for Hera when mm -hmm. Leary reaches Castle Age because he did a lot of damage. He knows how much damage he did, and it's just classic Leary. Like, he's up now? What? I killed five villagers. And Seriously, like, How yep. on earth is he up now? And... Hera is also going to have crossbows at the front of his base. Leary can almost afford Bodkin here. Hera will be heading out with the knights into camels, a spearman, and crossbow. And he can't take care of this army immediately. And he needs to get this house down now. Yeah, risky games here for Hera. I guess his knights, he, because of where he placed his stables, his knights needed to escape, so he had to open up a hole. Yeah, I, will go up. I think Leary's scared to go in there. He sees plus two on those knights, and he knows his numbers aren't that high yet. So he doesn't want to get trapped in here, and the TC will go up for Hera. This is also classic Hera, right? Drop the town centers. Mm -hmm. Expand that economy right away. And he's being patient with the knights. Uh, the downside for him is right now, he's losing some farms. And he doesn't have that much on gold, so he's not always able to produce out of these stables. His food income isn't that great either. Yeah. Like, he needs to keep the TC running, the stables running. He does have four vills queued, so he can unqueue some to make some more knights. And he does have the plus two armor. But these camels are looking kind of intimidating around the crossbows. And it's Leary micro as well behind these crossbows. So, got to be careful taking those fights. Mark it now for Hera to balance nothing currently. <laughs> he has no resources in the bank. I think... Like, we've seen enough instances, though, where if the camels don't have upgrades, that this could be really dangerous for Leary. So I think he's... That's why he's backed away here. He doesn't know how much is in those stables. Now he sees it. Hera's going to have eight knights. Then again, it is six camels plus 14 crossbowmen, and it's Leary. And it's Grajara camels, too. They do more bonus damage. Yep. And he's kind of got the hill right now if he runs back. I don't... These camels, though, taking a few Ooh. hits, and he didn't realize. He looked away. The Monastery is coming up for Hera here, which will be really nice for him once he gets a Monk on the field. However, Leary still has these crossbows, so he can snipe it down. He's going to apply some pressure, maybe force the fight over here from Hera. But Hera, in a style that is not uniquely his, but something he does really well, he pulls his army away and then goes for some walls yep. on the side. He's just waiting. He knows he has the lead. He's just waiting to take an engagement. And Leary, trying to force the engagement anywhere he can, finally gets some revenge and kills one villager. Uh, the units could still run in here for Leary. There is a hole between... Oh, there's not a hole, excuse me, between the market and the tree. It just looked like it. But Leary continuing to apply pressure. He's got 23 army. This is the Leary we know. Mm -hmm. And this is the Leary that... Maybe the only player that can come back after losing that many villagers early. I like the fact that he's getting some value from his positions. He's already killed, like, five farms. Yep. I like that. It's something for sure. Hera's got to place more farms, and if Hera were to ever send villagers back to work, they wouldn't have a job, so it creates some inefficiencies. And I also like the fact he's getting bloodlines now, and I wouldn't even mind to see uh, the, the armor upgrade. And I think it when you have 10 camels, you should spend food on the armor upgrade instead of an additional camel, because it's going to take a long time to get new camels to, your, to over here anyways. Hera's housed. Let's go, Leary. That's like 10 farms down. He's housed. So much damage. Yeah, hasn't actually killed the knight yet, but Hera boldly moved forward to this forward goal, but, like, maybe it wasn't so bold, Dave. Like, he really needed gold. He's running out of that gold in the back. Conversions are so important here. If two camels get converted, it can make such a big difference. Hera's going to micro away with the monks. He knew exactly what Leary was going to attempt to do here. And are the Gurjara camels good enough? Leary's... Trying his best to focus down what are very weak knights right now, but Hera's got so many knights. Hera could still convert two crossbows, and while it was close, I think Hera will hold this position. 
Yep, Leary clears up a lot of army, but now the army from Hera is going to be coming back across. Great play with the monks there from Hera. The crossbows weren't getting value early in that fight because Hera was dodging with the monks. God, the... So they weren't outputting any damage whatsoever against those knights. The micro, uh, he does lose the camel to a conversion there. The micro from Leary, though, is so good. Like, yep. He got crazy value there. I, normally, the plus two knights are going to destroy. Obviously, the Gurjaras helped out a lot as well. The Hera is going to lose an extra knight or two. But for now, it's just like five crossbows and one camel for Leary, and it doesn't really feel like he's got another wave coming right now. It's a big moment in this game. Leary knew he needed damage. Hera is officially held. He's going to drop TC number three, and that's going to be on the stone. And if he's ever worried again, he could always drop some really cheap castles with his civilization. Leary going for a third town center of his own. He's less than 10 villagers behind currently. Crazy. So that's something, I guess. And he's managed to keep Hera away from his own eco. But Hera now has some space to run around with the knights. And I would like to see him, I think, start moving to stone. Okay, that's where his, his third TC is. Okay, yes. that makes sense. Yeah, monks were a great addition there for Hera. Healed up some of his weak knights as well. Just look at the difference in the eco upgrades right now. The difference in the eco upgrades is another thing that's really rough for Leary. Hera dives. I'm surprised he's doing this. It's a bad fight. Yeah, I, I don't think he needs to do this. If he was on the hill, obviously it would have been better initially, but he went underneath the TC. He could lose a lot of knights here. That's a very interesting Leary fight there for Hera. A lot of hits. Yeah. A lot, a lot of hits from Leary, and he's going to kill another knight here. Camel, bite him. Boom. Yeah. So we talked about the one-sided composition of the Franks and how, you know, just knights could be a problem against camels and how Hera might want to consider pikemen. But I guess if you consider pikemen, then there's still crossbowmen. So it's a tricky thing to to accomplish right now, Hera, forcing his back. I actually wouldn't mind scorpions. Like th a couple scorpions could be really helpful against crossbows and camels. But it's a tough it, position to defend, isn't it? At the bottom of the hill. I think Hera's adding that because he thinks Leary is going to come forward with some siege of his own. But that's mm. that's tough, right? Like, he's adding a Mangonel. Mangonel doesn't really give him that much value here unless he thinks Leary has a giant wave of army yep. coming forward that he can't deal with. But that's just not the case, right? He's got tons of knights. He's got four monks now. He should be able to defend with just that army. But I guess he's playing safe. Knows he's still ahead. Because the early damage, and um, he's going to bide his time. I wonder at what point Hera will get plus two attack as well. It, it feels like you, you've got to do it, right? You have 14 knights right now, three more on mm -hmm. the way. It's your main army, and there it is now, but it's not in yet. And Leary's coming forward. Another big moment in this game. The hill bonus and the additional bonus damage will be huge for Leary on the hill with the Gajaras. But he's going to back away for now. I, if Hera didn't have those monks... I think Leary would have engaged already. Those yeah, monks really scare monks. him away here. Four monks is really difficult. And Hera and Leary are both doing so well trying to position the monks for Hera and then the crossbows to snipe the monks. Yep. And then Hera hasn't lost a single one yet. He just keeps dodging the shots. So pulling Leary out of position. Hera now pushing up through a choke point here. Up the hill against Gajara camels. Forging is coming in for those camels. Crossbows are still alive. This is dangerous for Hera and he nopes out of there pretty quick. This is the position that both players want. You can see more stables now for Leary. He's even going light calf. Ooh, interesting. If he could snipe the monks, as we mm -hmm. said, what a difference that would make. And there's a lot of gold and wood and everything around here on this hill. It's just so much easier to play this game if you're controlling the hill between the two bases. So Arrow wants to drop his castle there soon, too. See, both like players are like one bad fight away from a loss here. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. And I think with additional upgrades coming in for Leary, I know he won't have plus two attack or plus two armor. I think the fight could be realistic because of the bonus damage, but he just needs to take the monks out. And Hera with a big shot, Hera needs to keep those monks right next to the knights at all times. It feels like he's in the perfect position. I'm not sure on the seven villagers right now. I wish he had more villagers building this, but uh, let's see. He didn't see the light cavern. The light cavern looping around on the right side. He will see them now. He's going to attempt to convert the one in the center, but he pulls the monks away. He doesn't get the conversion. Here comes Leary. Snipes one monk. Can he get the others? Hera with some good positioning. He's trying. He doesn't get them. He loses the light cap and the camels engage against knights. Who is going to win this fight here, This is dude? a crazy fight. I mean, at the very least, it feels like Hera gets the castle up. That's what he wants. 
He also hasn't lost all of his monks yet. It's a 50-50 engagement somehow. The castle's at 80%. He wins it. But Hera wins the fight. And it was just good enough from him, man. He had to work so hard. Hera wins oh the game, God. though. I I think it's it's fair to say super impressive display from both. Hera, obviously, to get the kills. Leary to come back in that game. I thought he was dead. Yeah, I thought so, too. Hera, though, kind of took his foot off the gas, right? He didn't really push Leary at all. He didn't get any villager kills after the 13-minute mark. Yep. Which is wild. <laughs> but then again, Leary only got one vill kill, and he was trying to push Hera the entire game. So great defense from Hera. Said that many times. Leary, good comeback. Not quite enough. I think after Hera gets in on that lumber camp, though, Leary knows he's probably going to lose that game. Yeah. Like it's... 99 times out of 100. He did everything he could, really. He did everything he could. He was always going to be a bit behind an eco, especially against Franks. Um, but he made Hera work for it, right? Like, a lot of people that aren't Hera, you know, <laughs> uh, don't end up winning that game against that amount of pressure there. But I feel like he did the right things. He stayed true to his style. He stayed true to the Franks, and he wins game one. Uh, for Leary, hopefully you shake that off, because that that's the sloppiest we've actually seen him in the playoffs. Uh, and then you just move on here. It's a best of seven, right? So... You're, you're, neither player was coming in here expecting to 4-0 each other. You're going to lose some games, and you move on to whatever home map you have planned. And it is Scandi. They've launched, and it's Lithuanian so Japanese. Me, Ooh. Hear my theory here with Hera. Okay. Okay, we saw the super early uptime with Mongols, right? Yeah. And Hera into forward dock contesting, right? What if... Okay, my theory is my theory is officially done. He's well, gone to wood. Tell me, Damn. tell me the theory, <laughs> my, anyways. My theory was, what if he tried to do something similar to that, but with Lithuanians, because Mongols weren't available, and he didn't go for the starting dock early, but he used that starting 150 food to get himself up hmm. the feudal age at a really fast time. Well, it's an interesting theory. Yeah, it is. Well, the the beauty is though, you can still with this build going to wood early, you still can be up faster to feudal. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like that. That isn't an option for him anymore and we have a pause here but um you know, i think everything looks fine with the maps i am however very surprised that leary after losing the first game yes has gone for scandinavia which was on harris side so harris picks mm -hmm. leary decided on it anyways in this matchup right like he didn't know that it would be lithuanians before he got into the game but how many times have we seen lithuanians just dominate the japanese on yeah. cross for example so I would yep. say advantage Hera in terms of the civilization, but you know there there's different aspects of this map, and maybe the Lithuanian flexibility in the mid game on cross isn't as big of a talking point here, where uh, you know you you've just got so much more water to fight for. Leary also has some very impressive wood lines in front of his base. True. Yep. Like this is the this is one of the easiest wall offs you'll see. That's a three houser right in front of his TC. And then if Hera wants to come through, he needs to go all the way around to the right or all the way around to the left. And you can see Leary already going for a house over there near his dock. So you can wall to the shoreline there too. So I I uh, cast a couple sets with Hera. I believe it was with him. I told him that pushing deer on Scandinavia doesn't make any sense. And he agreed. And he's pushing in his second deer right now. <laughs> it might have been someone else. So the, my logic is you have three boars, right? And you're, yeah. you're most likely going to make a mill on those deer later on anyways. Yeah, the most important thing, makes sense. The most important thing for you on this map is to know which side your opponent's docking and where the mm -hmm. dock is. So if he were to, I guess in this case, it might not hurt him because he might just assume that the dock is, you know, on one side. You have a 50-50 guess. But look at Leary. Like, Leary is moving forward with, you know, some type of conviction right now to get the scouting down. And unless Hera's going fast castle... I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of this. Like, he pushes in a deer, and he's still got 72 on one, 40 on the other, and he just brought in his first four, and now there's a ton of food rotting away. Is yeah. he going to go back and push another one? Do it. All of them. I, I mean, <laughs> <All of> them. <laughs> I, I think this could be, like, Hera doing this, right? And I like how Leary ran back, so he didn't really show Hera uh, that he spotted it. I think this tells me that Hera might be trying a fast castle here. A fast castle well, into he's, knights or something. It's quite unfortunate that his opponent has also gone for the same side yep. of the water, if yep. that's the case, because he's going to lose his fish. But I guess with Lith Lithuanians, you get the fish out early. 
Um, and you can just get that food income in super, super fast as Hera goes for another boar. Yeah, he's still pushing deer. Probably this has to be an fast castle. play. Yeah. Probably, yeah. And then it would make sense, right? Suddenly you don't question it as much. It's an interesting idea. You kind of give up the fish, but you've had so much food. You start with the food. You're on fishing ships faster than your opponent with this build order. And then they might kill your fish, but the idea is at that point, you're already in castle age. And I guess then for Leary, it's really good that he does have that wall potential. But Leary doesn't really have any massive indicators here uh, to, to know his opponent's going fast castle. Oh, he'll see the deer, and he's only going to see like three. Maybe he... Uh, it's it's hard to make a conclusion off of that. Yeah. Well, he, he also uh, sees the lack of scouting from Hera because the score is not very high. And Hera gets loom. Hera clicks up to feudal. So what do we know? So Hera is going to go for a rush. Hmm. Like imagine if like if Hera goes for two docks on this side, just blindly assuming <laughs> his opponent uh, was fishing over here, and his opponent wasn't fishing over here. That would be awful, right? But. I'm guessing that he is going to go for two dog. Maybe he's going to go for scouts. I don't know. This is just a bit more. It hasn't been shown to me to be that well thought out from here, and he's going to figure things out over the next minute or so. Yeah, we can look on Leary's side. Not a single deer or ibex or whatever you want to call it pushed yep. so far. He goes for the second dock, even sends another villager out there. And Hera is just now coming for the scout, and he makes a beeline directly to the dock yep. from Leary. Okay. Also could kill that villager. I wouldn't be attacking it now and wasting any HP. Hera is going to realize there's two vills now and also Can't won't be able to fight. kill two villagers. So that's actually yeah. probably thought out and intentional there from Leary. Hera but... can go FC here. Mm, I think not he's... immediately, but if he wants to adapt, he can. Yeah. He's going yeah. to... Okay, he's going second dock and he's going to gold. So it'll be fire galleys or galleys. Don't know which one yet. Probably galleys. Yep. Hera will want the first hit here. He's feudal age first. Leary should get the hill. And Hera knew it. And now they're both feudal. So that weak scout from Hera because of the vill engagement a second ago. Kind of a, a small issue for him. He doesn't want to lose his scout on Scandinavia. And he is absolutely going to lose his scout here. And this is the start that Leary would have wanted in this series. Mm -hmm. After how game one went, this is the perfect start. He's going three docks. So full commitment. And now Hera won't have any vision on even where Leary is or what Leary's up to at home. And Hera, because he went to gold so late, he could only afford one fire galley immediately. Yeah. There's the second one in the queue right now, and Leary is going full galleys. Yep. From three docks. Or is he? Yeah, he's going full galleys. Hera's just going to be behind. I think so. Like, this is this is brutal. And that wall that he's making to the shoreline, once, once Leary wins water, that wall means nothing. That's true. You're not secure there at all. He can just kill that in a second. Yeah, so I think Hera was a little uncertain on what he wanted to do with his build, and maybe maybe Leary had done some practice games with Hera, maybe he'd seen some of Hera's strategies in the group stage, and he was like, I can beat that. You know, like, yeah. who cares that it's his home map? I can beat that. I can do this. Hera hasn't lost any fishing ships, though. He's just lost his scout. We're assuming some things here, obviously. And Leary's scout is trapped into Hera's walls, which kind of hurts. But now Hera goes galleys of his own. Are these to snipe? Surely this can't be... In defense, I guess he hasn't seen the three docks from Leary. He's only seen two. Now, transitional economy is really important on this map. And I've seen, I saw one player, I forget who it was, leave the pigs underneath the TC and actually take the deer first on a mill because the deer comes in a little bit faster than the pigs. But Leary's not doing that. We'll see if he places a mill on there on those deer. It's very cheap for the Japanese to do that. Harris Eco. Like, he's got a boar that he just lured under his TC. Mm -hmm. If he just manages to defend a little bit here from Leary, which looks like it's going to be pretty hard, he can click up to Castle. He can still do it. Faster. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe that's the logic, like not completely lose water and be somewhat competitive. I guess and... fletching, okay. Yeah, I, I, I again, yeah. I just, it just doesn't click for me. <laughs> I'm so confused. I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It, I don't it... know what's really happening here. Now, we know for Leary, right? He set out with a game plan here. Win the water, scout the water early, and then dominate in the mid-game. But we should mention that like the Japanese just drop off hard. The longer the game goes, the worse the Japanese can look. Even Hera just going for the fires into galleys doesn't make sense to me. Because you're the, the fires don't really offer much at this point, and you're already going to be yep. behind on the galleys. He also got housed there, too. 
So he actually can't produce at the moment. Leary should be all over this right now. Yeah, I think when these next two galleys come forward, Leary's just going to, like, dive in on this. Yep. This is a pretty easy fight to win, especially with the, the health on these fire galleys. Yep. He's just got to notice... Oh man, Hera's actually doing a pretty good job to defend here, and he snipes one of them with one shot. Now he can kind of push back a little bit. Yeah, impressive stuff. Hera could still click up soon. It really hurt him that he didn't have the follow-up production there because he got pop cap though. Mm -hmm. And uh -oh. so this is where he will lose water. Yeah. He might even want to cancel those ships, honestly. Yeah, he actually switched them to fire ships, which I really like. I think two galleys would be less effective. The thing is, as well, if Leary ever wins this water, it's so difficult for Hera to get back on here to contest with galleys on yep. the water instead of, like, fire galleys, right? Yeah, Usually Castle with fire galleys, you can, you can sneak a dock somewhere. But uh, with galleys patrolling up and down, and Leary loves to spread them out to deny future docks coming, um, it's going to be really, really tough for him to regain control. However, Hera's going to click up to Castle Age before Leary. Leary does not have a market yet. Going for a barracks and the full walls, but he is taking those Ibex, albeit a little bit efficiently. <laughs> Inefficiently. Ooh, check this out. Did Leary just notice that Palisade wall was deleted? Hera deleted the Palisade and is sneaking a villager to the right. And Leary didn't see that act, but when he went to look at the barracks, he saw the Palisade. I, that could tell me that like maybe Hera wants to send a Spearman forward. Mm -hmm. But if he's thinking about it, he might also send a villager over to the right-hand side and... Try and take I a think, look. I think Leary will take one of these walling villagers and send it to go make a dock over there. I think he'd right. do it regardless too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leary's going to click up to Castle Age. He is a minute behind. Hera still hasn't lost his docks yet. Um, this is where I would have liked to have seen Leary as he's distracted right now and the fires from Hera pop out. Well played, Hera. I would have liked to have seen Leary make a fire or two there because the fires take yep. out the docks a little bit faster and you're probably going to transition to fires anyways. Yeah, yeah. If you suspect your opponent's up first to Castle Age, you've got a galley army. Add in some fires in front. Yep. Fire galleys will just give you time. I do not like the continuation of galley production from him just because of how annoying it's going to be for him to micro that and everything else. It's Leary. He loves but, to micro. Yeah, it's Leary. Scout is going to go down for Leary. He loses it to the Spearman from Hera. Well played, Hera. Hera transitioning to farms, something we've, we've said for... So long about him when hybrid maps is he starts off with the fish, but he's happy to switch to the farms. Leary's still microing. Leary doesn't have any archers or anything, so he's not going to micro on land, but he is going to micro on water and block there. <laughs> he's such a nerd, isn't he? He's such a nerd. And there's another scout from Leary. He's going to check Hera's side to see if there's docks there, and he will likely find it. But I am still a little concerned that he could end up losing all of his ships on the other side right now. Mm -hmm. Fire ships are insanely strong once they're upgraded. He's spending so much time focusing over here too. Like he's had two idle villagers that were walling up forever, mm -hmm. at least a couple minutes. Now that I mention it, he moves them, goes for a house and still hasn't docked on the other side, so. Yeah, and Hera isn't booming or anything. Hera is just strictly focusing on water. There's eight fishing ships for Leary over here and now Leary's gonna get his upgrades. So this is really the time for Hera to try and push back. But now that Leary's adding his own fire, Leary could, has micro potential. You'd think that Leary could defend his fish, and that's all he wants to do right now. He drops the second town center at home as well, so his eco should be much better. And Hera's, and these are Japanese fish, so they are not mm -hmm. going down very easily. Takes out one. Yep. And the fire galley is doing its job here. Yep. Leary should win that. Goes for that second TC. Hera... Just some spearmen to scout around and goes for a second TC now of his own. And he starts adding fish on the on the top. That's definitely a mistake from Leary to not go out there with a dock earlier. But I guess if you're fully focused on the south, maybe you just you don't have enough attention to allocate over to that side as well, right? Because you're micering the galleys. Yeah, for sure. For sure. At the bottom of the map. Something that's unique, and I, I don't think a single Scandinavia game I've talked about this. Look at what Leary has seen. So he was inside of Hera's base for a very long time. He knows yep. there's only one gold in there. And his scouts are extremely active to see the other golds are exposed and there's no town center there. I could see Leary trying to apply some pressure there on one of those hills possibly. And also the extra scouts went up against Lithuanians that are going to want relics is a really smart move yep. in general. Yep. He's got full vision on everything except the place that Hera snuck out to. 
Yeah, that's literally true. hasn't that's true. scouted the shoreline at all on the other side. There are monks now from Hera. Lyria ends up deleting that scout. One of the scouts. The wall is open in the south, but obviously Lyria doesn't want to run in through that hole with knights. Yeah, that's true. You would just gift units to Hera. But we talked about this before. Lyria needs to end this game before they both get to Imperial Age with similar economies. Agreed. Because Lithuanians can just... Seems like they just steamroll Japanese. Even if you just go, like, skirms. Right? Just, like... Or late, even latest against... Latest against Pikeman, latest against Hal. Yeah. You, yeah. you win the fight. Yeah. They just kill everything. Just some small transitional things here from Lyria I'd like to see. Horse color, for example, as you start to seed farms. That's a basic one. He is dropping another monastery, so he's going to have two monasteries in his base. He's gone for Light Cav, and he's gone for Knights. Mm -hmm. So Light Cav just to compete for relics like this is an arena game. And Hera's got three monks and two spearmen moving over towards that relic on the right. And there's also a monk there from Leary. So if he had all of his Light Cav here, he, would ap he could absolutely kill all these monks. But Leary's trying to spread out, and it makes sense. So he split up at the moment. convert this fire ship. If Hera lets him get that fire ship, that could be a pain. Oh, true. <laughs> this is all of his fishing. True. Ego, dude. You got to get Literally close get to it real first. Close. Get well, real close. Hera will probably delete this, right? Probably. Unless Leary goes to the, the villager first. Oh, my God. Leary's within range. Oh, and the monk died. <laughs> Leary got died. way too close. Well, I actually, I played a Northern Isles game recently where... I, I tried to do a similar thing. I was surprised at how frequently the fires would somehow get close enough to the monk. I guess monks are just so fragile, right? Oh, oh. Leary is coming with the light cav. He knows. Got to stop those relics early and see you later, monk. Well played. Now, Hera has two more monks there. There's another monk on the way for Leary. Hera doesn't have anything to kill monks, though. He just has lose spearmen. Both these monks here. He's going to lose both of them. I think he should. Yeah, as soon as Lyra sees that, like, those two spearmen aren't going to protect this. No, no, sir. Yep. Hera's going to try and run this way because it's away from the monks, but now the light cav are here, and the one monk tries for a conversion. <laughs> no conversion yep. there, and both the monks go down. And well played, Lyra. He can even convert the spearmen to his side as well. He will lose the light cab, but he, he's done a great job here against Hera mm -hmm. so far. Mm-hmm. And look at the fishing eco behind this from Leary, too. 11 fishing ships. He's got some traps down now. He's placing some more. He's still controlling this um, shoreline completely mm -hmm. on Hera's base. And even collecting a relic from the left side of Hera's base. He also, so Hera has zero relics right now. That's sick. He also, I believe, killed a villager on Hera's gold. You can see a couple weak vills there. There also were some red bodies underneath the TC from Hera. So I think that all happened at the same time there. And the light calf from Leary might be looping in to try and find the monk. It's I don't like I don't like fish trapping right next to the opponent's base. I know it's like he has control of it. I, I actually it's not that big a deal. It's completely fine. You got to get the fish traps down. He's doing so many different things right now. He's got forty on food, but Hera's also got forty on food. There's still a hole in the front side of Hera's base as he's going to lose, it looks like, another villager here. No, nope, Lightcap nope. tries to escape. You should have just committed there. <laughs> should have just committed. And he's being very annoying on the wood line. Nothing more annoying than a nerd with a monk on the other side of your wood line. I like this from Hera. You know, there was a question on, are you planning for the right ways to take the map earlier? Mm -hmm. And, you know, he could just click up to Imp and plan on Imp, but he's going to go for his own Lightcap here. Uh, he's adding more scouts. I haven't seen the light cab upgrade yet, but this is a good decision. Uh, and it, you know, Leary's very heavy on monks, but I don't think Leary's expecting the late light cab play. Uh, normally, that's an early move. With nine monks out there with very little spearman support, Leary could possibly find himself in an awkward position there. Leary is over on the right side here with two monks. The scouts are coming in. I don't think he's going to know. Oh, he's moving them. Nah, he's going to yeah, lose them. Dead. He also just lost a monk in the north to another fire ship. So he's lost a lot yeah. of monks this game. He's lost more than Hera, but he also has three relics. He's going to lose another monk now. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Willy? I don't think so. I think those scouts have to run. But yeah, he's got to know to make run. spearmen, thankfully. And he's doing that already. He was already dropping the barracks. But yeah, the other relics that Hera could possibly get are along the shoreline in the north. And again... You know, Leary didn't contest it, and Hera continues to fish in the north, too. So I like that. He could also have fish traps. Leary needs to go up here. 
He needs a second building. He's, the Hera is coming in with the light cap. He's no gonna try and take a good so engagement. Bad. No sanctity at all. And there's more light cap coming from the other direction. Leary converts two, but he gets what? Five monks? So deleted? many monks have died. So many monks have died. How can you go up to 10 monks and not get sanctity? He was on 10 monks before that. He's on one now. And now his light cap are going to move in to kill a monk. And he okay. is going to kill the monk. Well played. Lots of monks have died this game. Leary also maybe a little bit late to stone, right? He had a lot of food surplus there yep. in Castle Age. Um, he didn't go on to stone for a very long time. He now has to loop villagers all the way around to get the stone at the front side of his base. And that means that as he's going up to Imp, he's not in a position to make a forward castle mm -hmm. on a True. hill True. and start pressuring Hera right away. He does get pikemen, though, and the light cap from Hera now can't take any engagements. I like the light cap from Hera. But he's making a lot more. <laughs> it feels like they've done their job, right? You've got to click up to the Imperial Age here, Hera, and plan for the next thing. And he's got a university going up, Dave. So he's got the, he's had the resources for a bit. And this is going to give Leary a nice little Imperial Age window. Le Leary's eco is kind of insane for Japanese. Um, with all the fishing ships and the pikemen tech mm -hmm. already in, yep. the pikemen spam already coming out. Like, Japanese, if you can hit that window for the fast Imperial, very strong Civ. Very, very strong. He's just going to Halb, Treb, and just run him over. I honestly wouldn't mind him selling all of his food right now and just buying the stone for the castle. Because it feels like if yep. he had a castle on this hill, it's over. But yep. him not having the castle, I'm not so sure. Uh, he is. And Hera's buying the stone now for castle of his own. Yeah. It's on the left. It's on the water, bro. <laughs> it's on the water. If what? he sends the monks over, maybe he can get that down. But, <laughs> like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, that's what we that's what I was saying about the fish traps earlier, but still, I mean, Hera, this seems needless. Drop it further he back. It. Yeah, he deletes it and he okay. puts it <laughs> puts it's, it over here. Okay. It's still a little bit weird. Yeah. But it's gonna go up. He's dropping ranges behind this. That's something Leary can see as well. So they, I'm sure he didn't need to see it to know. See, like look at look at what Leary has to do here. Because he didn't have enough stone, he has to go into count for him. And it's so slow. Yeah, and it's it's just like if you had the stone for a forward castle, you had the map control. Yeah, could have placed it on the way up to Imperial Age as you're sending the villagers forward now, and you'd already have treads on the field. Yep, pushing absolutely, Hera. absolutely. Hera's gonna make a run for it to the right side. That remember, all, most of Hera's golds and stones are on this right side, which is vulnerable. Give it him giving up that TC is a sign that he knows it's bad, and I'm really concerned for Hera's long term here. He'll probably try and go hand cannons. But he will lose a lot of his base. Even though the castle's late for Leary, it was, Hera will still lose the majority of his base here to this Ram Halberdier play. Hand Cannon will take so long, too. Also, like, it's I want Cannon Galleon from the shoreline right now if you're Hera. Or, sorry, if you're Leary. You could just take out the castle with Cannon Galleons. It'd be so sick. Wow, well, that's going to take a while, too. It needs chemistry. Yeah, that's true. These Halbs, I think it's just Halb and win here. Maybe. <laughs> if, you kill him in the next, if you kill him in the next two minutes... Yep. Like, Before don't get conscription, just in. make trebs. Just just keep yep. streaming in with halves. Make sure your rams are protected. Like, the ram on the right, yeah, hop out with the halves like that. Perfect. And he is keep he, a lot of his production is from home. He doesn't have any middle or forward barracks. So he's got to be mindful of that. And Hera is absolutely going to go for gunpowder here as he's getting chemistry now. All the infantry upgrades in for the Leary. Faster attacking infantry with Japanese. Even getting iron casting to help his helps out. He's got Trebs coming right now. You could just, like, I, I like the idea of just, like, killing Blacksmith, killing the market, yep. killing the houses. Just slowing down that transition from Hera as much as you possibly can. And look at the castle that Hera is forced to go into. That tells you everything about the state of the game for him right yeah, now. Yeah, seriously. And... Leary has so much time to prep something for the potential hand cannons. Mm -hmm. Hand cannons are a great unit, but if you ever see them have success, it's because you've been an imp faster, right? All those chemistry plays, you've had a timing. Hera hasn't con had control in this game since the very start. And we'll see it's another so castle over, for Leary bro. on the left. And yeah, it just doesn't feel like Hera's going to have much, many resources remaining. No, no. He, he's got... Like, his strength was that he added the farms early, and he had a good foodie go. Yep. But now we look at his foodie co and there's just a bunch of helps yep. in the middle of it. His fish, I mean, I guess he still has those. But uh, he's going to lose the entirety of his main base. 
He is killing a lot of units just because of the castle fire. But the idle time's insane. And Leary's going to see this TC on the right. So he'll probably just continue to target the gold. That's the big issue. But and Hera doesn't, he, he doesn't even have the food to make hand cannons. Like he's got nine hand cannons coming out now, but he's got a hundred food in the bank. It's so little. But he's managed to hold here. He's he's held, yes, and hand cannon's a really good unit. And we just now have crossbowmen for Leary. And Harris somehow has crazy farm eco on the right, actually. And he's back on gold. So Leary's over there. Leary sees it all. Uh, and Leary's got a castle going up. I mean, a lot of halbs died. And Leary didn't prep the Arbalest switch in time. There's maybe a chance here for Hera. Maybe. Hera needs bomb more cannons, though. He needs he needs to be pushing these trebs and these castles back. Otherwise, it's just going to give so much time for Leary to spread out across the map. Doesn't seem like Leary wants to go for the kill, though. It seems like he's trying to go for little raiding movements. But he's not really, like, diving anywhere right now. So Hera's mm -hmm. kind of made Leary's decision-making awkward here. I think, like, Leary could be helped out by towers as well. Maybe if he wants to go for that route. Yeah. He's got castles now positioned in really good spots. I don't think there's another castle position that wins you the game. Yep. As he takes out the initial castle from uh, from Hera. I think Hera's also bombard cannons are just a little too late there. Like, if he could be saving mm -hmm. this castle on the left, I'd give, see him having a chance here. But him losing all this eco on the right is going to be a big problem. And no skirms yet because he doesn't have the upgrades and he doesn't have the time. Another castle from Leary. So now... Even if Hera clears up the army somehow, he's got a four castle wall yep. that he needs to break through. And it's even tough for him to like take wood currently or to take food, yeah. let alone gold. If Hera's running with villagers, he'll run directly into crossbows. Still just crossbows. This should tell you how bad it is for Hera. He's not even up against Arbs yet. Upgrade still flowing in here for Leary, but man, that's a massive raid. Somehow Hera has more eco. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Hera is still producing more eco, but Leary's probably going to close this out. It'd be a great recovery from him because the first game was so awkward for him. Uh, oh, he is going to lose the go trap on the left side. Yep. Leary packs it up. Going to reposition, and he's getting Arbalist. He's getting Thumbring. He's getting Ballistics. He has 21 of them now, so I think it's safe to say he's made the transition. Yeah. But he's kind of he's kind of distracted a little bit, right? He is. Losing units here and there. Japanese, if Japanese off. had bomber cannons, this game would be 100% over. But Well, if Japanese had bomber cannons, we'd see them pick a whole lot more. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if they had are. Siege Ram too, right? Like, yeah. th that's just the two yeah. things. They don't really have that killer Siege unit. Uh, obviously, the trebuchets can excite people, but it just doesn't feel that great in competitive AOE too. And so Leary's yep. got to brace himself here. He also needs to make some cannon galleons. Cannon galleons would be an epic play on that shoreline. So much more effective than trebs. It's still, like, what resources does Hera have access to? He's got this one wood line in the back, which is about to be gone. Yeah, that's And true. that's been his crutch throughout this entire Imperial Age so far is this wood line because he can't really take anything else. We're going to see Leary try Elite Samurai here. He's got the castle set up for it. He's actually pop-capped right now, though. Pop. So he doesn't actually have the pop space. Love me some Samurai. Lithuanian skirms are awesome, but uh, they're not so awesome if you don't have Bracer. And he doesn't, Hera doesn't have the resources for the unique tech yet either. I think this is Leary tossing away pop space just so he can get to the samurai. And samurai produce incredibly quickly. Yeah. Actually, and, and you want to take out the hand cannons if you're going to be going for samurai. Yep. That's what Leary's doing right now. But sniping he, down some of those. But if you're going samurai, you have to go elite first. You, you, Castle Age samurai are just not it. They were buffed at one point, so they have a bit more HP, but they just do not have the same... They do not feel the same at all, and there's still a lot of hand cannons. And again, I'm not, like, that convinced with Leary's play here. He's now going to go for Elite Skirm, and he's just tossing away so much army. He's probably like, how is Hera not dead yet? And I'm kind of thinking he's... the same, but, like, look at the trebs. Like, Leary's tossing. He's throwing right now. What in the world? He's just kind of getting every all his techs in, and in the meantime, while he's distracted... He's throwing units in. He's yeah. got the waypoint set right to the middle of Hera's base. And Hera, I don't know how, but somehow has 13 villagers to the north of Leary's base. I guess they've been on the run this entire time. I guess they have and been. And if Leary's not careful, Hera can even expand up here. He's not paying attention. 
Make good. This is why people fight, by the way. If you've ever seen a game where it's like, this guy's dead, why won't he resign? This is why, because it's really hard to finish off players sometimes. <laughs> As okay, Harris bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> really bad all timing. Needed, all we needed, all Leary needed was for you to say that. That's what he was waiting for okay. this entire time. Well, that's fair. Yeah. Well, Leary gets a well-deserved victory here. And, and Dave, like, you know, for all the questions we had of Leary in the first game, and losing the five villagers, obviously, a little bit sloppy, really yeah. did feel like Hera didn't have a good build here. Right, like he, he didn't seem like he had that ton of experience. Pushing in the deer, not knowing that Leary was going to go double dock approach, finding out late. Leary destroyed him on water. Hera did a great job to recover, but from the light cab and the monks in the middle, getting four relics uh, against Lithuanians and then having this many castles along the middle of the map, as slow as it took for him to, or as long as it took for him to finish off Hera, Leary played extremely well there. I think the question for me is like, what was Hera's initial game plan? there and why didn't he go forward and scout the dock earlier from mm -hmm. there to make sure of where it was why did he spend so much time pushing in the deer yeah yeah he can simply go for a, a mill later i feel I like know. every other time i saw Hera play scandy was in group stage and he always went for the fast feudal forward dock he didn't dock himself it, it was with mongols and italians he did it twice so maybe leary was just thinking i know that that's all he's ever done on this map and I don't think that he's going to be as good as me when it comes to the water micro and the water builds. And, and I think he'd be spot on if that's what he was thinking. Uh, maybe found a weak point in Hera's game planning. But, uh, you know, long best of seven we have here. Hera will have a couple home maps to choose from, too. Leary, of course, changing his colors uh, midway through a series, the norm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I was just talking about the draft and how Chinese is top tier on this map. And Leary had that available. Leary chose not to play with Chinese here. So he's going to have Chinese available for another map. I was thinking Chinese for Acropolis. It's interesting, though, because Berbers has also been seen a lot on Acropolis. So maybe they swapped the sieves there. Uh, Hera with his Cumans, though, Dave, uh, while he did lose in the quarterfinal, his 2TC boom play with the Cumans is incredible. Uh, you cannot really go wrong with it. And this was his number one pick on the draft. And on the opposite side... Uh, we've got Berbers. Well, actually, you said that you can't go wrong with it. I saw MBL, well, we both saw MBL go up to feudal with 18 population with Cumans. So but yeah, if you, don't, if you don't watch any recorded games ever and you don't practice it once, you can't. Go, you can go wrong with it. Correct. Technically, you can. Yeah, technically, you can. Um, but Berbers, I feel like they have the tools to counter the Cumans. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for Leary... The base setup here is very close. And I think that 2TC boom into maybe a faster Imperial Age. I didn't quite see the buildup yesterday for Hera, but I'm assuming that's what happened, is really dangerous. Yeah, so I'll very, actually very explain it to you because it was so epic. So Veleza, he understands it's 2TC boom into a couple kip checks for map control, forward castle, fast imp traps. But the, mm -hmm. for Hera to have success with that, he needs a forward castle. And kip checks, as good as they can be because of their fire rate, they do very little damage. And war wagons, which is what Veleza had, have insane pierce armor. Mm -hmm. So Hera was doing one damage a hit. Hera went forward with 15 villagers, and Veleza denied the castle and killed all the kip checks. And then suddenly Hera was an imp, and Veleza was in castle for like another seven or eight minutes, but Hera couldn't do anything. So I guess like the approach here for Leary is going to be something similar. And he maybe feels like the Camel Archer is just like an unstoppable unit. But he's really going to have to pay close attention to the front of Hera's base because I feel like Hera can make enough kip checks to get a castle down there. And if he does, it's going to be really difficult. Hera giving me a heart attack with that king. If he headed straight into the wall there from Leary, <laughs> we could have mm -hmm. seen another Mihai situation. I keep he waiting for it. Yep. I, I'd have to, I have to rewatch that clip because... I mean, these guys have gotten awfully close there <laughs> multiple times, and we just haven't seen the castle even fire. But yeah, Mihai kind of owned it too. I didn't talk to you about this. So he renamed himself Kingslayer. But I was mm -hmm. like, you didn't slay didn't anyone's get your king. king slayed? Yeah. King slain. <laughs> it's like, you didn't slay anyone's king. I mean, it's still probably a better name than the alternative that would be more accurate, but it's kind of funny. Okay, so Leary's going out to stone now. He's going to bring in 50 total, 20 more um, for the extra town centers. 
And it looks like he's going to go for two extras instead of some wild strategy here with the Berberas. So probably just make a few camel archers, play for map control, and then see what happens. Yeah, and from what he's seen, he has an idea that Hare is pretty close. Obviously, you don't want to get mm -hmm. too close to the, the area where you think there might be a castle. Uh, but that castle is always on the front. Players should know it by now. If not by playing, by listening to me talk about that every single Fortress game over the last month and a half. And Hera uh, will know exactly what his plan is based on if he goes to stone while he's on his way up to the next stage. And I think his second TC being on stone was intentional. I'll go to wood for now for all the farms, but then eventually just trickle a few more villagers to stone. But he could switch it up, man. He could switch it up. Like, maybe he feels like you can also go into a third and fourth town center. I remember Bax did that with humans once. Mm -hmm. And ended up with Paladin and Siege Ram, and that was insane too. The problem with humans in this matchup is that if you do get late game, you don't beat Berbers. Agreed. Like, the Berber composition hard counters the human composition in many ways. Ooh. Ooh, Leary saw that Hera's scout went into the north, and he's walling it in, and he's made a spearman out of his barracks. Bro, if only the king was there. <laughs> if only that was the king. And then we saw Harris send like 20 bills forward to try and save it. Oh, man. That's smart. Because that scout yeah. was very active when Harris played against Valeza to snipe some monks. Mm -hmm. And just it's to see... It's going to be valuable in the, in the relic contest, yeah. I mean, at the very least, he won't even get to see if Leary's making any camel archers or not. Yeah. So that's some heads-up play there from Leary. Obviously, the villager's a little bit idle as she is to run back into her base now, but... Yeah, I mean, you don't even you don't even need to worry about trying to kill that scout because if he ever needs to get out, he has to attack the wall, and then you just easily send the spearman there. Yeah, like right there, attack signal, boom, send the spearman. It's unlikely Hera will ever break out. Yep, Castle Age is in in forty seconds here for Leary. Hera is still not close to clicking up, but he's getting wheelbarrow and he's getting his farm set up, and of course he's got that second TC, so. When Leary gets to Castle Age, Hera is going to have Wheelbarrow Advantage, and he's going to be, what, 12 villagers? Yep. 13 villagers ahead of Leary. So significant eco advantage. It will t take some time for those numbers to uh, really impact the total resources gathered here for Hera. And Leary will have an opportunity to get to that third TC first, but still, the Cumin Boomin is going on, and it's very, very strong. You got to love it. Like, these guys, they really want to kill stuff. They're, they're Arabia players. So Leary is putting a lot of focus on this. I would have just sat my spearman next to the wall. If you do that, the scout never gets out. Just sit the spearman next to the wall here. Scout fight. Spearman didn't get a hit. Leary, use your scout in the middle of the map, bro. <laughs> just, just let it go. If you lose your scout here, it will be horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's so dumb. I mean, he's not going to make camel archers yet. He's just booming. He probably has scouted the middle of the map already. I swear to God, though, if he loses this. Oh, my. Just bring it to the middle. Just d Do not give Hera an opportunity to kill your own scout. Okay? Okay. He's going to win Find the other relic. There Find we go. the other relic. <laughs> That's the priority, not this. Hera deletes it. <laughs> Hera deletes it. <laughs> you don't uh, get the satisfaction. That's funny. Well, okay. Well, in the end, it, it doesn't end up a nightmare scenario for Leary. He had faith in his skills. He's got to play catch up. And so three town centers for him. Uh, he'll be adding farms like crazy. Yep. Now, the difference between the two, obviously, is uh, that with all these farms, Hera's going to have tons of food. But he's not shifting more villagers to Stone Dave, which tells me that he might want to go for the third or fourth town center later. He will need, mm -hmm. of course, to have 100 stone to make another TC, but uh, maybe he'll shift stone a bit later on after a bit more Kipchak control. Maybe he'll add a monastery too. I don't know. Farmiko going to look really strong for him. 26 on food. Crazy. With Wheelbarrow as well. His food yeah. count's going to be insane here. And yeah, double mining camp. And now he's going to stone. Yeah, this is definitely the strategy we were talking about. Okay. So how does Leary stop this? He still hasn't started queuing camel archers. Just trying to catch up on the vill count right now. Still 12 behind Hera. However, he will close that gap quite quickly here with the mm -hmm. third TC and Hera going up. Yeah, there's concern still for Leary, and it's always so scary when you're playing against the humans because you have to commit everything to just be even with the Vill count, which means even the fletching upgrade and a couple camel archers right now is stretching you thin. But he is going to add the camel archers now. 
And I'm really wondering how the Camel Archers are going to perform against the Kipchaks because the Kipchak firing rate is, I think, what, what really matters Bro, in that crucial Camel moment. Archers, Camel Archers destroy Kipchaks on an emotional, physical, mental, everything level. Everything level, okay. Did you say spiritual? I think you did. It, it Well, if I didn't, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have more HP. I think they do bonus damage as well, right? They, they do they bonus damage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like everything. It's a 40 HP unit that is getting hit by a unit that does bonus damage against it. Like, mm -hmm. it dies. Also, remember that, like, Hera's done this every time, right? He's done this every time. So, Leary kind of prepped a strat here for it. But I think you you have to make sure that you do not leave the middle here. Because Hera just getting his castle down forward changes this whole game. It's not the units. It's just the castle position and the trebs. I could take out your castle. So just stay in the middle here, here, Leary. You have a scout elsewhere. The scout can kind love of look at the relics. I love that outpost from Ooh, Leary. I do too. He knows, he knows exactly where the threat is here. And here come the Kipchaks. Oh my god. Four plus one range, though. Hera, uh, he went loom. Or sorry, he went forward to drop the castle without loom in the game in the quarterfinal. So he's learned. Outpost will go up. Villager could die, but also could so could the Kip check. I think Hera getting close enough means he'll kill the villager though. Outpost being completed though is worth it. Oh, okay, the villager does that. Now let's see how Whoa, much. What damage. was that shot from the camel archer? These things are four hitting the Kip checks. Yeah, doing ten damage a hit, I guess. That was a wild miss. I will give you that. That he was like six <laughs> tiles away, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't moving. <laughs> Hera going for his bodkin now. He's getting armor. Yeah, Hera knows he needs the numbers here. And he must be mm -hmm. concerned. I would be concerned if I saw the outpost. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I like the other outpost on the left side, too. Yeah. Leary. Leary's right. done his homework here. We'll see if it works out. But he absolutely knows what's coming. But we'll see if he goes for bodkin. I feel like with how good camel archers are, you might not even need bodkin arrow. Not Hera's yet. not sending the vills. But Hera is distracting the camel archers right now. And he's attacking the outpost. And if the outpost is down, Leary's not going to be too pleased. Still no relics for either player yet. Yep. So not playing out how we usually see Regicide Fortress play out. Hera doing a great job distracting, but this guy is alone. He's in a corner and he just gets absolutely destroyed. Hera in Imperial Age. Leary will see that. And Hera still not coming forward. Yeah. He's going for university. Yeah, so he's going to have to wait for chemistry. This is so good from Leary, man. I love how Veleza in the quarterfinal and now Leary, they've realized the type of units they need to compete against this strat, right? Because, like, Chukunu weren't even that impressive. Like, Chukunu are slow and they don't do mm. any bonus damage. They need damage. a lot of upgrades. Yeah, yeah, Bengalis weren't that impressive either because, like, the Ratha, but feels like Camel Archer is perfect. So Hera's still relying on the Kip check here. He is housed at the moment. He's going to drop a bunch of houses. I think he's also going to drop a stable so he can get bloodlines. But this is all delayed the trebuchets. So it's taking it later and later into the game here for Leary. What trebuchets? Like, there's nothing from Hera. Yeah. He's just still yeah, he building can't. on stone. Yep. He's massing kip checks. It, I, do like, like, <laughs> I do like how he doesn't have, like, 10 on stone anymore. Because he could have easily continued to do that and forgotten. And then had 1,200 stone with no castles. Mm -hmm. But Leary, stop. I'm just getting stressed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> just getting stressed. Just, just stop leaving the middle. <laughs> you Dude, don't have an outpost so much, in the middle. He's got so much vision, though. Like, he wants Hera almost at this point to come for that castle. Yeah. He can deny that. There's nothing. Hera's continuing continuing Kipchak production, which may be the worst unit against <laughs> these Camel Archers like, in the game Speaking right now. of getting stressed, Dave, with his Kipchak <laughs> opinions, I mean, they have imp upgrades, right? They have chemistry. It's going to have ballistics. And Hera's still... As a position to maybe drop the castle. Okay, Leary sees the villagers. What do you do? Do you go for the villagers first or do you go for the kip checks? You gotta you gotta you decide. Can go for the kip checks first. Go for the kip checks first. Because the kip checks need to run away to fight against you. Yep, it's true. Just go in. Just go in. The firing go speed on the close. kip checks is insane. These kip checks are nuts, dude. Okay. Keep talking. Your entire existence is de depends on like what you think depends of life. Depends on the fact that Leary doesn't have ballistics, bro. I, I just know how much it's going to hurt inside if the Kipchaks actually win this fight and this castle goes up for Hera. 
The Kip checks are just good enough here for Hera. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding. The chemistry upgrade, the ballistics upgrade, the bloodlines, everything Hera got was just enough to get this castle up. And the strategy can still work. Hera needs to send his trebs forward right now. So I, this is the worst micro I've ever seen from Leary. This is the worst. <laughs> All he needed to do was run right beside them. Right beside them. Just sit right beside them. The villagers need to run. The Kipchaks need to run. Instead, he's pussyfooting around in front, running back and forth just to prove me wrong. I, I don't know what that was. I have no idea what that was. Okay, listen. Just to clarify for anyone out there, Dave has hated the Kipchaks for a long time. They suck. They're terrible. They're awful. They, okay, just let Darren it all out. Respecting them too much. He's let it all out. Respecting them way too much. I, I, I'm not saying they're the best unit ever, but the strategies work for a reason, and it's the lack of frame delay. They fire so much faster. So Leary's micro looked awful. It's because he couldn't freaking fire, man. He, he need, he didn't need thumb ring. He wouldn't need ballistics. But anyways, let's see if Leary can stabilize here, Dave. The Trebs are here for Hera. If I'm Hera, I don't even add another Kip check from here. Because like so you said, mad. they don't get better. It's all right. We'll get through it together. He's going for the Trebs. Okay, now this castle Hera may be a little bit ambitious. And Leary, I guess, hasn't shown that he has more Camel Archers. Leary, okay, come on. Leary, do it for Dave. Come on, stop this one. He needed Ballistics way earlier. Way earlier. There we go. Comes out with the Camel Archers. Hera, to his credit, did get the final ar armor upgrade for those Kipchaks really early. Leary's so, losing Camel Archers to the Castle Fire. Oh my god, yep. he's, this is going to be the third Camel Archer he's lost to Castle Fire. It's the pressure. It's the timing. And how do you make Camel Archers without Castles, Dave? You don't. This is why Hera picks this strat. I, I'm still a little unclear on if he's going to be able to get this castle up, but he's still forcing the issue. Maybe some Genitors would need to be the next route for, for Leary. I'm not sure. He also has no relics right now. So fixated on the middle of this game. Uh, castle being taken down. No opportunities now to make Camel Archers for Leary. Goes for another castle on the left side. Hera continues to push him back. Ballistics seems like it took forever. It's finally in. Finally in. Can finally hit these things when they're moving around, but he has no more castles to. Oh, he's dropping two actually. From. Holy crap! Ooh, there's the second one. Okay. Uh, Leary, Leary, you, know? you got to move your king back, bro. You got to move your king to somewhere else. This is not He'll a good spot for it to be. He'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Hera won't even go for the though. tower. Hera will go for the TC. They don't care about kings. Thumbring coming in, Bracer coming in, Chemistry coming in. We have 18 Kip checks. The other thing about the Kip well, check is they're no, cheap. He might go for the King. He might go for the King. Maybe he's targeting the TC so that the King has nowhere to run. Look, he's targeting the tower. And... No, no, he's... no, he's not. He's, he's not. It's okay. And the Kip checks he are... He is! And he the... is! The and the king, King's dead. The King! It's dead! No, Kip checks not only beat Camel Arches, but they killed the... Okay, so as Dave gets over the fact that Kipchaks are actually good with this build, Hera wins the game, and, uh, you know, he, he did enough. Leary absolutely knew what Hera was going to try and achieve there. He did his, his best to stop the castle, but Hera was patient enough to get the numbers out there. And finally, Dave, it had to happen in the semifinal, but finally, someone gets punished for just forgetting uh, it's regicide. What in the world? A, a game to forget for Leary, possibly? I'm not too sure. But well played from Hera there. I like how Hera dropped the 11 right before the king actually died. <laughs> An accidental king snipe there. Ooh, look, it's a king. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you if you do see that tower though, I think that's the correct play to target the TC first. Yeah. So the king has nowhere to hide. Yeah. And then you run in with the, the kip checks later. That's a good point. Which is yep. what he did. So I think that was if Hera was planning it, well done there. Um like I said with Leary, I think that situation in the middle, we can go back and rewatch that, but I think he respected those units way too much. He was dancing around. It's like a, you know, a galley war where you have the numerical advantage and all you need to do is just get in close and snipe him down. Mm -hmm. I think it was that situation. And instead he was messing around. He was just dancing back and forth. And that meant Hera could just build this castle for free. Yep. And even win the fight. So I, I don't know. You know, I think after you lose that fight, it's incredibly difficult. To oh, definitely, back. definitely. And, you know, I think the micro could have been a little bit better. But again, just to defend Leary a little bit, not on the king thing. 
Like he deserved no, that. The, like, not, yeah, I'm not king defending that. Deserved it. Like, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, the it's, king it's, thing. It's, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, but in terms of the fight, you almost gotta like play in that situation to experience it. The Kipchaks are annoyingly annoying unit to play against because it just fires so fast. Mm -hmm. And uh he tried to he tried to hit and run, or sorry, like dodge back and forth and kite back and forth in a situation where, like you said, maybe he just needed to dive and that was unnatural for him. Um, but Hera picked humans first against Velez in the quarter. He picked humans first here. I have trust in Hera's strategy. I think he feels like this can't be stopped. And while, of course, the other game he lost to Koreans, he was able, able to beat the Berbers here, which will make him feel pretty good. Um, but yeah, finally, King Snipe on Regicide Fortress. Leary actually collected more res in the end, but he just lost so much map control. And there's like a 1% chance he could go for Bohemians or Burmese, which mm -hmm. aren't bad Nomad civs themselves. But it is going to be Malians in Spanish. It's going to be on Nomad. And uh, Leary has proven to be a pretty good Nomad player throughout this tournament. Hera. Um, well, Nomad isn't his strongest map ever. But Agreed. he has gotten better at it over the years. I think he still has some weaknesses. Notably, scouting is one of them. Yep. Uh, and doing stuff like making outposts around the map, also not something he does as frequently as maybe some better Nomad players, but still. Hera's a fantastic player, and he's going to have a lot of distance here from Leary, which is actually pretty good for Leary. Yeah, um, I would think so. When you're talking about the Civ matchup. Hera didn't dock right away either. It's, it's not going to be the end too bad because he's going to get it up soon after, but that's something you normally he, see his right TC, away. Dude, his TC went up so quick. I, I gotta actually, I gotta go back here and see what time on his TC. That is outrageous. He, he built it so with all under, three right away, I guess. Yeah, yeah, with Spanish. His TC went up at 131. That's crazy for Nomad. So Under two minute TC, even with Spanish, is is pretty good. That's a pretty good start. Yeah, and so he he's adapted his build a little bit. Not gonna fish quite as heavily, but he's taking the cows. I like it. And Spanish are one of the top sieves on Nomad. One of the most banned civs on Nomad in uh, drafting scenarios because of the build speed at the start, because mm -hmm. it applies to that TC, but also the Conquistador. So he took full advantage there of the build speed. He's at seven villagers, and Leary's at five. Uh, that said, Leary, of course, had the fishing ship. But I, I want to talk about the map real quick. We've got the Soggy Donut map here. The donut that you, you forgot was in the box, and you, you found it later on. I... <laughs> I don't know. It's I interesting. Mean, you you still eating that? Or? No, no, no. Soggy donut goes in the you trash. You don't eat the sock, bro. Come on. How how many, how long has it been in the box? <sighs> I mean, are we talking about present day me or like sixteen year old me? Because these are very different answers. How, how long has it been? In, how long has it been in the box, bro? Le less more if it's or less been than in the an, hours. If if it's been in the box since like you picked up the donuts at eight a.m. and it's then you know ten p.m. That's the level of soggy donut I'm talking about. Like an overly glazed donut that's been sitting there all day. That's what this is. I mean, I might pick away at it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, like I said, like I, I'm not a big donut guy these days. Mainly because if I have them in the house, I'll devour them all. I have no self control. That's yep. my way of adulting. But uh, had donuts a lot more frequently when I was a teenager, and uh, I've had some questionable donuts. Let's just say that. Mm hmm. Dude, look at the look at the scouting from Leary. So he sees the wall offs, and Ooh, true. If he finds Hera on the other side of the map here, and he suspects Conks are coming, I wouldn't be surprised to see him wall that off early, and then go for like some sort of forward dock. He's got this villager exploring here too. Yeah, that is really unique to have a villager walking around the map. Normally, you'd have them walk a certain distance just to get bored. I think he wants to disrupt the stone mining from Hera mm -hmm. for sure. And we look at how far away the stones are for Hera. From his TC, Leary might be able to do this. He can also, if he's going for the water control, he can also go for a forward dock near Hera's fish. And he's basically figured out where Hera isn't. Yeah, this is so amazing. So he's slowly moving that villager over to where Hera is. Now, his economy is going to be less efficient because this villager is spending so much time wandering around. But a nomad... Efficiency isn't everything. It, you're, you're you want spot map on. control. Yeah, and you want you want knowledge and... That's something that Leary prioritizes more than Hera does on these types of maps. And Leary has really surprised... Uh, it surprised me. Maybe it's unfair to say that he surprised you, but he surprised me uh, with how good he's played Nomad, dude. It's like all no, the tricks. No, he surprised me a lot. Insane. A lot. Yep. He's, he's going to find so the house consistent. there. 
So he should Hera know that, that Hera's probably close by there. Look at the scouting Hera... on the shoreline, man. Like, he's going to find mm -hmm. this dock. It's on the other side of the map. He's found where Hera probably is. He knows Hera hasn't docked the middle. And he's going to narrow this down. And if he finds that and he has a forward villager, I think Hera's going to have a rough time here in Feudal Age. Dude, this is insane. This is like... If you were to show me this, I would think this was Mr. Yo playing Nomad. Agreed. Like if you if you didn't tell me the name of the player, and this all, is amazing. It makes me want to like see what Leary would do in, in Wandering Warriors Cup too. If we ever yep. get around to doing that someday, right? Like, look, he's just located where the dock is because he just lost the cow. Now Hare will know he's been spotted, but that's not a that's not a feeling that you really enjoy, and knowing look, that they know Leary's where the dock is. Leary's on the way. Age, and he's gonna go for a forward dock here. What? And if you cut off the fishing eco early from Spanish, suddenly the conks are less are a lot harder to produce. Yep. That's insane. Because normally you find that, and then you don't have a vill to send across the map. That's what normally happens. And then you're like, oh, I can't get the fish for another three to four minutes. Does Hera see something here? He's sending a vill. I guess he's just going to go for a second dock himself. And he could find Leary's dock. That could actually be a big deal if he kills Leary's villager because Leary might want to go for two docks over here. The the thing about Hera, he did this with Portuguese as well. He'll take civs that are usually going into, you know, castle unique unit, mm -hmm. and then he'll just do something else with it. Yeah. Now Spanish, it doesn't feel like you should go that route because the conks are just that strong. Yeah. But Hera might decide here to not go into that castle early and just contest water straight up against Leary. However, Leary's going to have a second dock forward. Yep. So Harry can't even get the dock advantage over on this side. It's going to be very, very, and, very tough for him. And the part of this that really sucks, and I don't know if Hera has the experience here to realize this, but your second dock being right next to your opponent's dock is awful because that's where you want your fish to go right now. Mm -hmm. So he's about to run out of most of the fish around his dock. So he won't, if he doesn't want his fishing ships to be killed, he has to go even further away, which could mean another dock, and he just... Yeah, he's not going to be in a situation he wants here. Meanwhile, he's walling. So he is doing that, and I'm just not sure if he's planning on going to stone later on or what, but I guess he does have the stone to the right. So we could kind of make a bit of an arena here on land. Still bringing in boars as well. We'll also, see if he's distracted with this water batter while he's trying to bring in this boar. Also, galley is oh, not boy. a decision that I like when you have a dock right the next to you. fish is so far away from Leary, too. If you're going to try and snipe that... Yeah, this is so weird far. to me. I think if you're defending your fish, you always go fires here. But he remembers how the Scandinavia game went, and he probably feels like if the Scandinavia game uh, was galleys for Leary, that that might be the play here. Here's the boar, by the way. So he didn't forget about that. Good work. The fires are now advancing through. And Hera has two ships, but he can't contest because he's got two galleys, so rip to his fish. That Doesn't really even manage hurts. to drop off the food here. Leary even blocking the fishing ship. Will it get it? Come on! Uh, it does he... drop off the food. <laughs> <laughs> well, it survives! If he, doesn't, if he doesn't get it now, he's going to get it later. Hera's completely sandwiched. I'd like to see maybe Hera try a demo if he's going galleys, but good job from Hera. He hasn't lost any fish yet. Um... And he's thinking that he has the potential to kill fish later on. That's why he has gone for this, Dave, like you said. And there are more fishing ships for Leary in the north and on the far side of this map. Hera has to be careful, though, because those two fire galleys got through on the backside. Mm -hmm. So as he moves all of his galleys forward, he's going to have to be really, really aware of where those ships are. Yep. Coming back the other way. And he can't quite fully leave this area yet. And Leary... With three docks, or sorry, two docks in the middle of Hera's production. Yeah, it's just such a bad spot really if you're difficult. going galleys. You just don't have spot, space to move around. Hera's micro has been really good, though. The other fires should come in and clear the fish, and that's the difference maker right now. Another big difference maker, though, is that Hera uh, was able to get that boar, and I really like that. Uh, Leary hasn't done that yet, so actually, I think he has done. He has. Oh, he's got a cow under there, so oh, he should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, this should be the end of the fishing ships. And the key for Hera now is you if you're taking losses on on water, you want to go kill your opponent's fish. You got to maybe make it over there. And I don't know if he has the intel. I'm going to look at his scouting. Uh, he was pretty thorough with the scouting, actually. I think he missed the dock for Leary on the left side. Leary already sending a fire galley back, too. 
Yep. Try and protect uh, against the galleys coming forward from Hera. And, well, food ecos looking much better for Leary. Hera currently has three on food, although mm -hmm. he's building with five villagers that were taking the deer. He's going for a market, and it looks like he's angling towards Castle Age. And now he's going out to the stone. So he can test the water early. Then he goes out to the stone. Leary, I wouldn't be surprised to see walls come up around the map between yeah. the wood lines and the lake just to secure himself a little bit if he suspects that Hera is going for Conquistadors. I mean, I'm not in love of, with how this has gone if Hera wanted to save his own fish, but he, he could definitely kill all the fish from Leary. Also, he's got plenty of cows. Look at the scouting, dude. He found so many cows. He's been under no land pressure, so he could probably click up and he'll have a healthy economy to make Conquistadors. He, he still has no idea like exactly where Leary is. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, he must assume he'll that Leary's over north. there. He pr he'll probably go north, dude, because if he looks on the left side, there's like a boar there. There's a cow that's not found. Ah, true. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so he'll probably go no north first. Good job from Leary not to lose his fish. Leary should dominate water in the long run. Arrow would have expected this. Hera did try and land a couple demos next to his original docks, but Leary had spread out his ship, so that didn't work. He's going for another galley out of that dock? Like, what? Dude, I've been saying this, like, Hera is so good with commitment of whatever he goes for. There are some instances, though, where I'm just, like, not that big a fan of the strat, and then, like, I'll say it, and then 30 minutes later, he's won the game. <laughs> you know? Because, like, whether the original strat was great or not, he's just so good as the game goes on, and he's so consistent with the majority of his economic decisions and his micro. I'm wondering, like, what the transition is here for Leary. Well, normally, as Hera brings in more food, he's bringing in another boar. Normally, you would have wanted to go for, like, a barracks and a range and pressure with archers by now. But you haven't done that. And so, you know, Hera, even though he's lost his fish, he might consider this a success. Just making it to Castle Age with a somewhat healthy eco to drop a castle is huge. Yep. And you have the Ville lead, too. Like, you think about how fast he got his TC up. There's yep. the Spanish giving you a lead right away. Yep. I love how resourceful Hera has been with the additional areas of food. It's been insane. Every time I look back at his TC, he's got another cow or another boar. Uh, he'll probably be finished with that now. I don't think he's many more to find, but... I expect a castle soon. I'm not seeing any outposts from Leary whatsoever. So if the castle were to come forward, he might not see it, but Hera's going to go Leary's for the defensive go. castle. Yeah, Leary's going to try and go crossbow here, likely. But Oh, as he clears up all of the galleys from Hera. Oh, man. Sheesh. What a massacre over there. Great blocking from Leary. He's going to try and go crossbow, but like no walls to protect himself. And the transition's pretty late. He will have the fishing eco, so his economy will be better for now. Mm -hmm. But once conks are on the field, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, I think you you definitely want one of your town centers, and great job to go from monastery as well. I think you want one of your town centers on stone and the other one on gold here, because you, you will eventually need to think about guard towers. Uh, you might eventually need to think about just a castle. And I, I'm also liking the fact that Leary still has a villager on the right. When he gets town watch later, he's going to have a lot of vision in the north. Mm -hmm. And that vision's going to be valuable, like we stated earlier. Maybe he assumes that, like, Hera's playing it weird and not on stone because he sees the stone on the right. Oh, he's going to go Elite Skirm. I like that a lot more than Crossbow. He won't have it just yet, but I think If he goes Elite decision. Skirm, he needs Ballistics as well. Yeah, I remember a crazy game where he rushed Ballistics against Bact. That was the same game mm -hmm. we talked about. Yep. Like, he had five Elite Skirms with Ballistics, and he, shre he killed the first three Conks. And because yep. Back had no fish, and Back didn't have an eco like Hera has right now, uh, turned into a different game. But again, I, I have to credit Hera. I mean, the initial galley play was suspect. <laughs> but he's okay right now. And he's on two TCs. He's got horse collar. I mean, this is definitely going to go late. And if it's going late and you've got this type of economy, I prefer the Spanish over the Malians overall. Let your no. Oh, yeah, she is going to die finally. I was wondering where she went. A good job from Hera to find her. Just 10 fishing ships for Leary. It feels like a good amount. He is also dropping the university, and he's got his skirms waiting. He has Bodkin. Hera doesn't have vision on this area, and so he loses a little bit of HP there on his Conquistadors. Monk is bringing in a relic. Hera will need to back up once he sees that Monk, and Leary, ooh, Ungarrison's behind. Can uh, he get this house out? Nope. Uh, couldn't stretch for it. 
Hera's gonna see that though. Hera will see Skirm and he'll see University and he knows exactly what that means. It wouldn't surprise me if Hera tries to consider like going for Siege as well now. Mm -hmm. Conk Mangonel, it conch should be the next move. Just go for the Siege. Not a Conk just ran right under the TC from Leary. And taking some damage from the Skirms. Needs to be careful of the Monk as well. Yeah. Another villager going down in the north, but Leary got up to three TCs pretty quickly, so he's going to um, pull ahead in villagers pretty soon here. I still love, I mean, it's just such a consistent thing for Hera. Love how he gets horse color early and farms away. And I also would love this position. If he can get that position with the Siege Workshop, oof, that's going to be tough to defend for Leary. She won't be pulling ahead in villagers. I forgot about the fishing ships there. 52 villagers versus... 44 yeah, right Hera's now. Yeah, Hera's done a really good job. He's producing. done a sick job. Yep. And I know it's a best of seven, so if Hera wins this game, you know, it's not over. But that would put Leary in a position where he'd have to win three straight games, which would be extremely this difficult. This back is so annoying. It actually hit the shots against the monks. Leary has two monks garrison, though, and he's going to come out here and convert. Hera needs to delete this for sure, but he's going for a third TC of his own, so... Hera's just kind of settling down on this side, getting his farms up. This is so good. He got to 10 conks with this economy. This is so good from Hera. I, again, I I think I prefer his position right now, especially with the Siege Workshop. Like, it was such a big investment for Leary to go for Ballistics and Skirm, and that doesn't give him an answer to the Siege. If the conks run in on their own, sure, that's great. Hera did lose the conch on the other side. I either deleted it or lost it to the TC. It looks like it died to the TC fire, so. That middle pond is so cozy, isn't it? Yeah, that was nice, too. He didn't actually have that many <laughs> fish in there, but yeah, that, that was, was very helpful yeah. here. Big moment, though. Big moment. Ballistics is in. And typical Redemption. thing with the conchs is the conchs, they actually killed a skirmisher before they ended up losing one of their friends there. But Leary will see the Siege Workshop. And yeah, Redemption is such a huge tech from Leary, so we can convert the Siege. A good oh, nice micro. micro there. He's got enough monks. Deletes the house. That's, dude, the house delete is sick there. The house delete is so sick. He's like, I don't want to mess around with this. What's he doing? You know, dives in. He's going to lose him. No, He's going to lose him all. Okay, he took out the Manganel at least, but I don't think that was worth it for Leary to lose three monks. No. He's going to add more monks. One but... conk and a Manganel? Yeah. yeah. Probably not. Probably dude, not I, mean, oh, I mean, I mean... I've seen enough games from Hera. Not enough on Nomad, but I feel like this is just where Hera's like, oh, like have? Oh, lovely. <laughs> like, that's what I need to make? You're making skirmishers and you're making monks. Hmm. I'm going to yeah, drop yeah, like, a stable. You lose the entire out of water to your opponent and you still have more on food. Yeah, beautiful. For your eco. So yep. that's that's sick. Leary now walling off the left side. I really like that from Leary. He Agreed. doesn't want Hera to split. Uh, his attention. He wants to be fully focused here, especially with Redemption Monks and Skirmishers to fight off the Conquistadors. Plenty of room to play around in the TC to defend his monks now. Mm -hmm. So Hera needs to be careful pushing in. And if Hera runs in with the Conks to snipe the, the monks, then Leary should do exactly that. But still Hera in a position to add the Light Cav. You can see he's already getting upgrades. He's already adding the stables. And he just, he's not losing this position yet. So he's still got that threat, and Leary's just waiting, waiting, and waiting, Dave. And we've seen Malians in this position before. It's like their start's so good, the potential to get ahead before Castle is just good. But if they don't do that, there are a lot of civs that start to look more exciting than the Malians, who lack Bracer, are a little awkward having to go for infantry sometimes, like champions. You just never really see that bonus come into play. Uh-oh, two Mangonel converts, potentially. He's still chasing. He tasks them away. Okay. Ooh. I think big. if Leary knew that there was going to be light cab behind this, he would have continued to advance there and force the issue because it's that would have been a big moment. Surprise. Yeah. I think if he catches a glimpse of the light cab, he needs to buy stone and go for a castle. He might even do it now because like he knows, right? He He's should got have tons of gold as well. Like he should just buy it. Just he, buy it. He should Not have gold some idea. Longer. Yeah. And Her what Hera could do actually know. is bring villagers. It's not very Hera style, but he could bring vills. So you take the fight with the light cab and then you drop a forward mm -hmm. castle. But I think by the time he gets there, the castle will already be up from Leary. Very well played from Leary to sense this. I think he knows too because the stables are being added. The gold lasting longer is a bonus that doesn't really matter most games, but on 1v1 Nomad, it can actually matter quite a lot. If you can't expand, yeah. Yeah. 
I would love to see. I mean, with that defensive castle, suddenly Hera's light cap investment doesn't make all that much sense. And look at Hera. He's trying to go to the other side now. God, if that wall isn't walled. up, it's not it's fully walled yet. I believe in the wall. I believe in the villager. I think there's going to be one tile. If Hera is clicked over immediately, I think there's one single tile that's going to be remaining. I believe in the vill. Come on, Sometimes Bill. you just have to believe, dude. Like believe, like you believed in the Kip checks. <laughs> I believed, and the wall is complete. There it's you go, be fully complete. <laughs> well, I don't know where that monk was going, but that monk was probably just to explore. And Leary is now on the way to the Imperial Age. Fortified wall right now. Worth it. Yeah, because Conk Conk's mangonels will still break through here pretty quickly. Well, I mean, there's a castle there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hera's losing his fish to skirms. <laughs> uh, not not a big deal for Hera now. He's got so much farm. And so I guess it's going to be like heavy camel with Farimba and skirmishers to start here. Lovely move here from Leary, though. He's just going to try it. Just take out some of these buildings here with the monks. I like that a lot. Hera is not fully walled. And Leary can kind of just focus on defense here. If he gets a castle on the left side, too, mm -hmm. he can even wall behind that wall that's going to be broken by that castle and the mangonels. He's got opportunities to defend. Doesn't want to let Hera in with these conks. That's mm -hmm. for sure. He can make it very messy in the back. And, and conks are probably not going to end up being elite in this game, right? Mm -hmm. I, I could be wrong. Uh, elite conk is, is still strong. But the reason I say that is because Castle Age Conquistador is enough. 16 attack. And ooh, the skirmishers came back just in time. I thought, I think, why is he still killing deer? That is like the fourth deer that Hera has <laughs> mangonelled this game. <laughs> They're in the way, man. <laughs> They're in the way. Hera's got to be careful, dude. Your opponent still has redemption. And uh -oh. the uh -oh. mangonels are bumping into each other here. This could easily be multiple conversions. Oh, don't block him with the conks. He gets both. He might get three. He's going to get another one. He might get a third one here. Oh, no. man. Well, I don't. I guess it's good that Harold probably wasn't planning on going on a church. <laughs> Dude, should have shot the deer before he died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should have shot the deer. Hera's still making conks here. We have heavy camel on the way here for Leary. And he was going to drop a castle to the left, which mm -hmm. I would have liked, but if you're going to place two castles in the same spot, wall up the wood line there, Leary. So, uh, Make a gate there. Who, who's the first one to dock the center? Well, that with like actual hair already has the dock, but like I know what you meant. Yeah, I, I mean, ideally the Spanish player, right? Because Spanish cannon galleons are nuts, but I think Hera and Leary are going to be distracted right now. There's the gate on the left side. Excuse me, that was gross. Um, I, I, I uh, this is I think there's fully... a hole. I believed. Well, the skirm, the skirms can go over there and deal with that. They just need a couple extra seconds. And yeah, Leary didn't even think Hera would go through there. The thing with these Kongs is that Hera's not going into Kongs long term. That's what we suspect. That's anyway, what I right? thought. He's going, he's going into hell. I think he's in a position where if he finds a hole, he can get in and be very annoying with these Kongs in the back of Leary's base while massing up other um, options. Now, he hasn't made a single Pikeman yet. Yeah. <laughs> not a single Pikeman yet. I think Hera really just wanted to go Hussar and Kong and mm -hmm. decided to switch it up possibly a little too late giving up this left side kind of hurts but he has he is castling the right so if leary were to try and raid there it might not be that effective and pushing into a choke point against conquistadors is a dangerous game to play yep but i like the amount of monks like nine monks can get value uh you know i like the amount of camels i like the fact for is on the way now so if he maxes out in his blacksmith upgrades as well a plus seven attack and Leary seems to sense this properly. He seems to know that Hera's probably going to go to the other side. And that's got to be an area, I think, where Leary gets a couple outposts up. Yep. He's trying right now. There's actually a villager on the way. And Leary's going to be surprised by the Kongs. But it's possible that Hera has advanced too far with these things. There's still a decent amount of skirms. Let's see. Outpost is not complete. Now, where are your halves, right? Where are your halves and where are your light calf? Leary's... Oh, Leary doesn't God. doesn't want to let these in. Don't He's let tried. these in. Go for a gate. Go for a house. Go for a something. Stonewall. Don't bump. That's worth it. This is an amazing yep. trap. Where do... Oh, why is Hera advanced so far? Where, there's Farimba camels go? and there's skirms too. 
where on earth do they go if Leary loops north? I mean, these skirms have ballistics, right? Yep. They're just going to be getting damaged throughout this entire process. Hera, however, is delaying Leary. He's going into Hussar right now. He still has the buildings there, too, which is nice. And he also is killing a lot of camels. I honestly wouldn't... I know the camels are, are good as well, but I would just personally just let the skirms do the job. And yeah, then if Hera tries to run, engage with the camels. That's a great engagement from Leary. Oh, boy, the Hussars, though. Hussar Halb from Hera. Hera has a lot of helps. I don't think this is a fight that Leary wants to stay in. He did convert a lot initially, but he's gonna be going to need more units here, and he needs to save his Trebs and his Monks at the very least. Yep. It's going to be Gabetto Camel from Leary. Now, his gold does last longer, the but trebs. right now, Leary only has three on gold. The Trebs. He's only got three on gold, Tristan. The Trebs. There's a cow next to the Trebs. Save the Trebs. What? I, I don't know what Leary was looking at there, Dave. I mean, he does have the gold, right? There, there's still yeah, I, that big I don't, gold I don't chunk, think, but... Yeah, I don't think those things really matter. You're not pushing anytime soon. Well, Gabetto is, is actually a really nice unit here if you can get the mass mm -hmm. up. But, but he's only got three on gold. His transition Finally goes out to gold again. It's it, just been, it's been messy. His transition was awful there, right? Like, he took a really good mm -hmm. fight, and we thought he was going to win. But then he wasn't producing any more skirms. He lost every single camel, and he lost all of his traps. Like... All of his important units went down. And Hera hasn't done anything fancy. He's just been consistent here. And now he's re-adding conks. So he's got himself into a position where he can add conquistadors again. Now that he sees the Gabetto. Mm -hmm. Makes you kind of think he would have liked that conquistador army <laughs> that he had up yeah, in the that's north. Yeah, right? that's true. That Leary took care of. And, and like the skirms could still be valuable here for Leary. But he is going to need something that packs more of a punch against the Halbs. And that, that's always actually a big problem for the Melians. And before anyone says champions, I mean, so many civilizations have hand cannons, or in this case, mm -hmm. gunpowder that could deal with the champion. So Malian tech tree just feels a little limited right now. What is the bonus on Spanish gunpowder units again? I don't know. Faster firing? No. I, I don't think they fire fast. I didn't, I didn't, honestly, didn't even think they had a gunpowder bonus. So faster it'd be news firing, to me if they yeah. did. It is. It yeah, fires fast. faster and, and more accurate. Yeah, apparently more accurate. But I know it's faster firing. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So again, looking at Leary's production, he's got like Kevin the Q. He doesn't have over twenty of any unit. Got thirty halves for Heron. He's got the Trebs, but the Gabetto could go in and kill the Trebs. Maybe. It's just it is a unit though that needs to be taken care of. And Leary, great job there to delay this. He sniped two of those trebuchets. I think he'll be very happy with that. He's not going to be happy with the position, and there's our first Spanish Cannon Galleon, Dave. It's a perfect decision from Hera, and that castle looks like it could be a goner for Leary. Lee Cabeto is in, though. It's going to snipe the treb. Maybe it can run over and snipe the Cannon Galleon, too. <laughs> They've got more range than you think. They've got six range. Bye-bye, <laughs> Cannon Galleon. No way, Hera. Shuffle your way over there. Yes! <laughs> Hera's trying to dive really deep here. I, I'm surprised he's doing this. He will kill the Gabetto, but he could lose all of his conks as well. But again, it's just production. He's always producing more. I'm not seeing a lot of production from Leary. Leary. Well, he did clear up that push. There's no siege. Yeah. There's another cannon galleon coming. Gotta be careful with that, though. 11 Gabetto, range. four light cav, two skirms, two monks, and a knight. Elite cannon galleon. Oh my god. This mid, this middle pond is gonna be so useful for Hera. And the Gabetto shouldn't kill the cannon galleons. The Hera could always micro back against too. the monks. Yep, yep, yep. I don't see any world where Hera loses this game. He's got too much position, too much map control, and I think he's got more consistent production and the better army comp. It's looking so good for him. Leary's gonna try and switch up. So he's gonna try and go to the left side of Hera's base. Hera has walls, castles, everything over mm -hmm. there. Hera never really hesitant to take any fights. And someone just said, this is actually a perfect explanation of the situation. Hera is much more willing to just produce and sacrifice. He's happy to mm -hmm. toss units in if it means gaining a position. But, oh, for him light cap, they're going to come in on the left side. Something Hera yep. maybe didn't account for. This is nice. Hera also going elite conk. Whew. So we didn't think we would see it this game. Hera's got castles, though, in his farming eco. Of course he does, but Leary is going to the right side of Hera's eco, where the castles are not. Yep. So he might be able to find damage, might be able to distract him, but Hera's pushing in. 
on the front. The castle goes down. The Gabetto are all alone there. And the comps are moving in behind. This is this is getting difficult. This Leary. is this is why Spanish were banned in almost every single set in group stage. And this is what Hera is so good at. Just taking mm -hmm. it to the late game. A combination of Hussars and any ranged unit. And it, with Spanish, man, the, the Cannon Galleons are the perfect addition. You don't even need traps. If you clear up all this, all these fortifications, you can oh, raid Leary to death. Dead in Hera's economy, but uh, that'll just open up more space for military. Yeah, Supremacy also from Hera is really good to make sure your Vils don't die to the raids as quickly. Mm -hmm. He also clicked Ballistics right away, so his castles won't miss the shots anymore. And even like Bod Canero and Bracer would, would probably put an end to the raids. He's got castles everywhere. A lot of villager kills, but he still has 20 more Vils than Leary. Like, Leary at some point just stopped his eco. Yep. It felt like. He stopped. And he didn't transition to gold yeah. fast enough uh, in Imperial Age, which means he couldn't produce a Gabetto, get all the techs he needed. Now he's floating a lot of res, but like, what does he do with it? I think if you had map control and you're behind an eco, you can say, all right, I can hold on. And if I, if I hold on for this period of time, I can win this game. Beyond the three relics, I'm not sure what Leary's really holding on to here. And the relics aren't too far away from this either. And, you know, Farimba, great upgrade. You get all this extra attack. Hussar, though, more HP, better stats otherwise. And the Conquistadors, better stats, better unit than the Gabetto. And Malians just kind of ran out of options here once those camels went down early. And these are desperation camels for Leary. He's like, I need something more, so let's try the camels again. But, man, this group of Conquistadors could just pick any fight they want to take. And Hera's going to follow it up with more production. Consistent production. There's always something coming across the map. Yep. I think maybe what Hera could do if he felt the need to. He doesn't necessarily have to, but he could maybe get a couple trebs on the left side, start to pick apart from there. But if, he knows that if he holds this hill, he eventually wins. So why even move away from it right now? Cannon Galleon's even getting some value against the units too. They shoot fast enough. Crazy, man. And just look at how slow the Gabetto fire. <laughs> There's such a, such a weak unit, if you really think about it. 45 HP. Kikisador's got 90 over there with more attack. But I tell you what, man, I, I know that, you know, the late game for Spanish definitely seems stronger here, but credit to Hera here because he he started off with the galleys. He didn't kill any fish. And he ended up with the better economy in Castlate, which is crazy. It, it's rare. It almost never happens on Nomad. And also he lost 25 Conquistadors and then still ended up somehow having all those conquistadors later on. So it's just consistency. Leary's going to be kicking himself, dude. He killed 25 conks, and then soon after, lost two traps, 20 camels, and 25 skirms. Didn't have Leary's any urgency. Time. Yeah, Leary's up time to Castle Age, maybe a little bit late. He didn't scout the stone from Hera at all. Yep. He didn't. He went into the um, monks as a counter to the conquistadors and to grab relics, but then... Hera was just running around with them. He didn't get a single conversion early and just kind of lost the momentum. Yeah. And credit to Hera going for those, the amount of farms he did as early as he did to compensate for the lack of fish, going to the middle for the fish as well. Mm -hmm. Got his eco balance and then got in a position where he could just spam units and wall up and Leary bashing his head against a wall because what do you make? Yeah, Leary's, Leary's probably thinking, should I have used the forward villager to make a barracks and an archer range? Yep. Uh, we've seen him try and pressure with that before. He didn't play any pressure on land. Ultimately, it's just really difficult. Um, Spanish are just one of those saves. I just think Hera played super well and super clean. And once you have an even game in early imp, advantage Spanish. And maybe you could even argue advantage Hera as a, in terms of the players and their strengths. Yep. So maybe, Leary... Maybe you shouldn't let him get it in the draft in the yeah, first place. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, put it on the ban list. So it becomes a game of awkward transitions instead of knowing that Spanish are going to be stronger. Um, but scores 3-1 for Hera. He has to win one of the next three for Leary. If he wants to move on to the final, he has to win three straight. So you still got to save some civs, obviously. You got to make sure your civs match up on all the maps. And we are in the game, by the way. So I'm glad I didn't step away. A game number five. Let's see if Leary can keep himself alive here. Leary playing as the Chinese, as we may be expected here, Dave. And Hera, for the first time, playing as a civilization that can't go scouts on this map, I'm expecting yep. something wild. I mean, Hera has a very nice map generation, too. He's got a wood line to the left, but I don't know if he's ever going to find that. 
<laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> As, remember that Tato game against Sato? Like, it took him so long to find the back wood line. Mm -hmm. You can go set up there and wall around. It'd be pretty safe. Um, however, you are playing as Chinese or Aztecs here, so likely you're going to be the aggressor yep. in the early parts of the game against the Chinese anyway. And we'll see how Hera can disrupt the eco from Leary. Leary's got some pretty tight builds with Chinese, and he can pull some stuff off that other players just simply can't seem to get away with. Agreed. Yeah. And uh, both these players seem to think, all the high level players seem to think Chinese is just. And they don't have any bad matchups, really. Um, mm -hmm. But where they do start to struggle is if they take damage early feudal. And oftentimes on this map, the Lumber Camp is going to be forward and exposed. So this might be one of the rare times where Hera would go for a Tower Rush. Uh, if he isn't going for a Tower Rush, you have to remember that Man at Arms, Eagles, Archers is all very slow compared to Scouts, and the players are pretty far away from each other here. So that's why I'm thinking Towers from Hera. Leary continues to push in the Ibex. 25 seconds at LTC time. Not bad. Not perfect, but not bad. Yep. I think it used to be 25 seconds was perfect, but now we're seeing people do like 15. Yeah. Um, and that that could also be a map thing as well. But yeah, this is pretty clean. Uh, there is also a tiny little wood line for Leary. I hope he doesn't try and lumber camp that one, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's 1900 wood, right? <laughs> Uh, what what if that's he big. what if he does get towered and that's the only wood he has scouted and he goes back there because he's missing the wood line on the right side right now. That'd be pretty funny. Let's see Harris approach two on wood right now. Now this is happening more and more these days. Uh, classic builds used to be you know three or four on wood every time, but players are going with two and then they're starting to send the third and the fourth around this time like right there. Harris added the third, so you just. Might be trying to, to get the feud laid slightly faster, and that extra 30 second difference can sometimes uh, make or break a game for you. But yeah, man. I, I mean, again, first time we've seen Mezzo here from Hera. He knows that this is the number one pick from Leary. And similar to you expecting that Hera should get a win with his number one pick like he did on Fortress Regicide earlier. Um, you know, maybe... Harris just gone into this thinking, well, it's kind of expected Leary will be able to get a result here. And a nice, Ooh, nice pickoff hit. there. Yeah, a nice little boink. Uh, the okay. three next to Leary's name means that he changed his color. He changes his color in every game, and we every keep the color game. consistent, yes. And there's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes Correct. he goes two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes he goes four, three, six, seven. Like, it, it's just... I, I don't know. Whether he's winning or whether he's losing, he just changes it. And gotcha. uh, that's ca that's Capturade saying what his actual color choice was. So uh, I could see why it would be confusing. But good good pickup, guys. Paying attention to all the little details on the screen, you know? Look at that. And then you have people that are like, what sieve is Leary? <laughs> Where it's at the very top. <laughs> I had a guy... I remember once he he typed how many relics in caps like five times and it's on the screen yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, like, yeah. Bro. I mean it's, it's uh, it, it might be hard to notice with some of the data <laughs> yeah, but, yeah yeah to be fair yeah yeah of but course. he didn't have to keep hitting enter on that every ten <laughs> seconds you know well we've got a house coming up here for Hera is dropping the barracks so your normal build is twenty one pop so Hera is. He has shaved 30 seconds off of this. He's doing this as one fewer vill. Mm -hmm. An interesting little aspect of this, Aztecs start with more gold. So he, as he's bringing villagers forward, I think this is for a lumber camp, though. Um, yep. So he doesn't even made a mining camp yet on the gold. So he's just going to walk back and forth. Oh, never mind. He's making the mining camp. But Leary he's sees it's going to be man at arms. Confuse you. Yeah, he's clearly. doing all of this to confuse you, not Leary. Well, you know, he's Leary's... trying he's trying a lot of things. Like he might those villagers yeah. might start walking back. He might not have the wood for the lumber camp just yet. So Yep. And look at what Leary's instant response is. Walls up his lumber camp behind. He's going to gold as well. He's gonna start work on his own barracks, which might be a little bit late, but he has three villagers building it, so mm -hmm. he should be fine. Yep. Just a little tad late on that. Can you imagine how sick a tower would be here though? Oh my god. You just you go man at arms in the palisades and then boom tower right behind the wood line. I think your your eco is so fragile though to send in yep. uh, like 
more villagers forward, you went up on 19 vills. And Hera's actually going to lose that scout. Oof. Yeah, nice job there from Leary. So Leary adapting into an archer range. He was futile fast there, which is why he was able to kill the eagle. But he didn't Hera have the range no right away. To this. Like, Hera has no follow-up to this. It's simply militia and one eagle scout coming. Yeah. Where's the damage coming from here? He doesn't have a scout to know it's archers yet from Leary. He's going to see this now, and he's going to be like, ooh. Like, Hera's eco is so weak, and all he's got is three militia. There's no men no arms range upgrade. Yet. There's no tower follow-up. There's no archer range follow-up. There we go. Finally, the range comes down, but he's going to be behind an archer mm -hmm. production to Leary and hasn't done any damage. Might be able to find some value on the that berries here. Leary, you've known that this is coming. Walled. You, Yeah, you yeah. know this is coming. Like th This is something that you just saw a moment ago. Losing a villager here is so on Leary. He's not going like. to lose it. He's going to save it? Yep. Damn, dude. Era continued underneath the TC as well. And so I guess in the end, Leary is okay with that. It was a little avoidable, you could say, but he's got his archers on the way. And the range just now completes for Hera. So I think, like, I, I agree with you. Yes, the, the follow-up is not really there for Hera. That's why I like the tower. Your eco is going to be trash, but at least it's like in your face damage to the Chinese. I, it's just not a Hera thing to do, you know? I just, I think he tried to cut it too close there. If maybe. he goes up with 20 vils, maybe he can get a bit better timing. He actually gets the men at arms upgrade, maybe gets the archer follow up or 20 or 21 vils, but 19 vils, you're just not getting any damage yeah. for what yeah. you're giving up. Well, uh, Leary was curious on what was going to be the follow-up he was patrolling his scout behind his woodline i think he was paranoid about a potential tower he lost the scout now so he doesn't have that uh, Hera's going to have a skirmisher or two plus the two militia plus the eagle obviously but if leary knew all this i think he'd be very active in moving out and he is actually moving now does Hera see this i feel like Hera didn't see that ranged army moving forward there no nope. doesn't matter if leary sees this army here i mean Unless, unless he doesn't wall the gold again, and then Hera can be very annoying. But one of those militias, a hit away from death. Yeah, but the villager could be got an archer. trapped. Yeah, that's true. He's got the archer. Yeah, he's, he's got an archer. He's fine. So here comes Leary on the left side. Already has fletching. If he gets close to the berries, maybe he could do some damage. But it looks like he's heading in towards that wood line that he had spotted previously. Great job from Hera here. Now, he, he researched Town Watch, which might save him a bit here. Because he's moving forward. He didn't track the army coming forward, but oh man, uh -oh, he's moved he's pretty far moving, away. He's not moving, he's not moving. He has moved pretty he's far away here. It. That's one dead vill at least, right? Yeah, I think you think you get two here and you, you just run away with your army. Maybe even three. Hera's got to try and save the weak ones. He doesn't. And good job from Hera. Again, without Town Watch, I think he would have lost more there. If he clears yep. up the archers, it's at least a start to some type of a counter. Okay. So clears up the archers. Now Leary has to be careful, make a decision whether he wants to go for like a defensive tower of his own, but he's actually going into a stable. Mm -hmm. So he's going to make some scouts to help fight against the skirmishers. He still has some archers alive, which could keep him relatively safe for the time being. And he's wor he's beginning construction of the Meg. He <laughs> he learned from Ganji, <laughs> Tristan. The mega egg base. <laughs> oh, man. Did you see Jordan's little egg? I did. I did. <laughs> Against Viper as well. Yeah. Armor too for the cavalry. I, I like forging. I like wow. it. I like it, and I think Hera has the census right. You're heavy on skirms. You've showed that. Also, I think there's an overchop. That overchop that was a twenty wood before, and oh, Ooh, quick wall. Nice little wall there. The villagers will be safe for now. Skirmishers just now got fletching, and yeah, Leary's he's dancing now, but he's waiting. He's being patient, and Hera's got to be like, uh. Maybe I have one too many skirms, so he's making archers and he's making more eagles, and he's just gonna fall yep. back so he could get a big group together here. I don't think he's gonna expect the armor and forging though. That's true on yeah. these scouts. But you like, want numbers more than anything, upgrades. right? Like I feel like yep. you gotta have at least three scouts before you engage. But ideally, but he four. was. To be fair to Leary, he was getting those upgrades while he was building the stable. That so is it wasn't crazy. like there was, you know. It, it, he had food in the bank and he was getting the upgrades while he was building it. So now he can pop out here with three very strong scouts and Hera just needs to retreat like yep. straight up. Yep. And, and actually it's a bit weird here, but you, the, the key here right now, well, actually hold on a second. I don't, I don't think this fight has gone that bad for Hera. Just going to say the key for Hera is he wants to keep his Eagles alive, but I think it's, it's not looking great though. Cause yeah. more scouts are going to join yeah. the party here from Leary. 
Hera wants to click up. He wants to go all in in Castle Age, and Leary is staying in Feudal. We'll see mm -hmm. all in Feudal, and Hera's doing the right thing. I was just going to say, you need a tower somewhere. So he's going to tower at home on the wood line. That should keep the wood line somewhat protected. He also could use the ranged army behind walls. If the scouts will run into tower fire or TC fire, the ranged army for Hera still can find value. Interesting. Ooh, losing a scout there. That's unfortunate. Leary needs to back up. Leary cut scout production. And now he's going to try and move towards Castle Age. Should he have kept making scouts there or just. It, it's so tricky. Right now? It's so tricky. Yeah. I think the initial fight, think of the. I know it's Chinese, but think of the investment. It was two upgrades and the scouts. I think the initial fight had to actually be a bit better there for him. But he's mm -hmm. worried. Like Aztecs typically go all in Eagle. So he focused the Eagles before the skirms. Had he focused the skirms initially, the archers could have dealt with the eagles. And Harris is running forward. Yeah, I can't believe Harris being this aggressive with this army. He, he's going to have a headache at the back here as scouts with armor and forging come into the gold. And that's another deadville. And there's also archers on the left side. And that's another deadville. Yeah, this is crazy. Normally you play defensive and then you push out when you're in castle age. Yeah. Hera taking a risk and moving forward. Leary, he's, he's happy to see this. He should send some things up though. If you don't see the army, you must know Hera could come to your base, and he does react nicely here. He might need to tower one of his golds. Oh, pathing. He's going to be mad at his villas going that way. Unfortunate for him. He loses one vill, might lose a second he one here. He can save that. He can save that. Little dodge to the to the side there. But, I mean, Hera still doesn't have much of an answer. Nope. I guess he does have some archers now, actually. Wow. what I I'm impressed with Hera here. Again, like, the fact that he's been able to... I mean, it's still risky, but the fact he's been able to get up and hasn't lost everything is impressive to me. And both players micring their hearts out here. Normally, I would favor Leary, but Leary's missed micring because he's distracted. He just missed patrol Burp. because he's distracted. <laughs> that, was, uh, that wasn't the best click of all time. <laughs> Let's say that. And he's going to lose great more villagers. And yeah, great job from Hera. Harrison Castlage. He's going to get crossbow. He's going to get bodkin. He's whittling down... The archers with his skirms. He will lose his forward army entirely, though. But at least he's in castle. Speaking of castle age, Leary's on the way up, too. Leary is eight villagers ahead of Hera currently. Ooh, that is interesting. Well, hey, what I mean, a... he's killed five. And he had the extra villas from Chinese at the beginning. And Hera with a little bit, well, a little bit more at LTC time, so. Yeah, it'll be more around, like, five, I think, because right now he can't create villas. Because he's on his way so to Castle. Town, town Watch, I guess. Did Leary get Town Watch? Uh, Looks like he did. Yeah. He did. It, yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. This is a fun game. I love games like this. And Hera's really committed towards Crossbowmen. He's gone. <clears throat> he's going for Ballistics for nine Crossbowmen. What in the world? But Hera, you've got to be careful. Or sorry, Leary, you've got to be careful with your wood line. He's sticking with stable units here, Dave. So no skirmishers for him. It's just going to be knights and uh, clearly light cav because we have a pause. pause. Yep. Do you go for the plus two armor here? Do you Before you go for an extra TC, do you try and get that plus two armor? Because all you've seen are crossbows. You still haven't seen like any spearmen this game. I think with this eco, you, you go for numbers here. Okay. Um, also, Hera has to be assertive. If Hera is not assertive, Leary's going to split these cav and he's just going to run into the wood line and the gold and everything. So the only way Hera has a chance here, I think, is if he's forcing the issue. Hera's internet went out, apparently. Ooh, okay. Does that so mean I have time Leary... to go use the restroom? <laughs> I ask, I don't know. Let Call me. Me. Someone get Argentina on the line. Um, <laughs> if, his, if his internet actually went out, we'll probably restore this. Uh, let me. Probably. Oh, okay. So it's not internet related. So we might be back in business here in a second. Okay, cool. It's just a pause, a bit of a break is all. Mm. All right, I'm going to, it, it will take me 40 seconds, Dave. I'm going to leave you on here. I'm just going to step away. I've had to pee for three hours. Be right back. Is he gone yet? It might be gone. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook.gg slash T90 official. How are you? Do you guys know how T90 got his name? YouTube and Facebook? Yes. As we resume. Great time to go away. He named himself after a shoe. That's right. The official shoe of Age of Empires 2. That's right. 
So I don't know what you're watching from his point of view, but uh, Leary goes for that second TC, and Leary is moving forward with some light cav. Harris still queuing up crossbow. Now he's got 13 uh, with ballistics, but his base is wide open. Absolutely wide open. And he's looping around with the crossbows. Leary's going to scout this, though. He's going to scout this, and he loses an archer, so he knows all about that crossbow army over there. Hera going for a monk now to help against the knights, but Leary still has those light caps, so monks aren't going to be the greatest counter in the world. Ooh, okay, I'm back, by the way. Yeah. Um, thanks for that. Yeah, so Leary sees the crossbows, and the light cap are just waiting to dive in on that gold. That would be so devastating to that gold eco if Hera doesn't notice it. Seems like he senses it, though. Here we go. Still Five no plus knights. two armor. Yeah. Yep. No and... plus two armor. This is going to be tough for Leary. Game slows down a little bit as we catch up with the pause, but Harris should lose these crossbows, and he's just kind of given up on that because he was distracted at the back end of his base. The light cab coming in, and Leary doing some excellent blocks there. Yeah. Bills. So both players are going to trade Vils for some army. Light cab will be able to run away, though. Hera killed two or three Vils there before he lost his crossbows. That was a good decision from Hera, though. You know your army's mm -hmm. dead. Just kill some villagers. Yep. Leary, however, has that second TC here. And he's got better eco upgrades with Wheelbarrow coming in. Even going for a third TC forward. Hera went into a couple monks uh, to counter the knights and grab the relics. But Leary kept those light cav alive. And they can come back and snipe those things if he sees them. He's got to be careful. I'd love to see plus two armor here from Leary, though. I, I would really like to see it. He really, like, if you if you go three TCs when your eco looks like this, you might never yeah. get it. It's just such yeah. a big commitment into Vils. This could be horrible for Leary. His TC could be denied, and his entire wood line could be massacred. He has Does not tracked the next army at all. Does have it. Does he see this? Oh, he sees this it so coming bad. in on the wood line. Ballistics is here, though, for Hera. Leary dives in on the gold. Hera's going to lose villagers. Leary's going to lose villagers. There's also I think Hera loses more. Well, for now, he loses more. But where's the army potential for Leary if he doesn't have plus two? Hera, deny the TC. He will deny the TC. It's a doubt TC. Hera's got a monk at home. He needs to get a conversion now. That conversion has to happen as most of his army's forward. He I does get the conversion. Kill the villager, but still within range. Leary will find the other monk if he pays attention. He runs right by it. He's distracted. Oh, man. Now, the, the bright side is here. You do have two TCs, right? So you've lost Vils, mm -hmm. but you are producing more Vils out of those town centers. And the other TC is just a couple hits from being able to go down. You do not want to give any more conversions for Hera. And wow, that was a fast one. Holy crap. Yep. Leary has the uh, light cab behind, but he's only got one light cab left over. And there's the plus two armor. Right now, goes for market. He didn't get that third TC up, so he could kind of afford the plus two armor. He that's did funny. have to idle for quite a while, Yeah, though. that's funny. You know how we joked about Leary and that little nugget of wood in the south? He honestly yeah. would have... It would have been worth it to take that. Because <laughs> uh, the wood has been such a big issue for him. He's taking wood on the top, and if he goes for the safe wood, or, you know, the better wood line, it's not safe. Hera, what the... Why are you sniping Ibex? I, I, he has something against them. Yeah. Hera also has something against monks with his main army. Plus two armors in. Hera's going to want conversions here. He's going to get a few of them. Uh -oh. Will he uh -oh. have crossbowmen remaining after this is the question. I think Leary should just let that conversion come in. Yeah, there's no use trying to pull away from that. He's got the plus two armor, but Hera has another army of crossbowmen coming from behind. And Hera's micro has been pretty on point here. I think he could have lost a lot more than that. And he managed to kill the knights from Leary. It, look at the army numbers. It's eight army for Leary. Yep. And there's still always going to be monks for Hera, and Hera's a 20 crossbowman. Uh, Hera's in an amazing position to win this series right here. Mm -hmm. He really just uh, needed three one more it's army. He's on Acropolis too. Yeah, like... crazy. And also, I love the TC spot from Hera because it protects the wood line, but also it gives you tons of gold, which is what you want when you're making monks uh, and crossbows. Th this converted knight in the back, so annoying. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, what a yeah. what a good decision that is. Yeah. And you've got to like. Leary's like, I got to make this messy again yeah. for Hera. I got to force those crossbows back, force the monks back. And he's sending a ton of knights. This isn't a knight army that like a couple monks can clear. Yep. This is going to be seven knights with plus two. So if he gets into the eco from Hera, Hera will have to bring some army back for that. Leary actually needs siege. More than anything, he needs a mangonel. 
Always tricky when the opponent has a couple knights that he's converted from you, though. I look at Hera. Hera noticed that the knights are headed to his base, so he's going to run home now. So the best form of defense right now for Leary is offense. Mm -hmm. and Hera garrisons in the tower. We'll save those villagers. Brings the monks back. And could get more conversions on knights. This is what Aztecs are so good at, man. There's Cat one monk in his base, too. Pushing those three away. Wow. Crazy really vision good. from Hera. So good. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's, it's really tough to react to all these different attacks. Villager count is only two difference, but Hera or Leary has the better eco upgrades yep. so far this game. True. Hera only with the first wood upgrade. Also, now we're starting to see the light cabin. So while Leary didn't find value with those attacks, Hera hasn't been able to push, which is what's important. Where's the siege workshop for Leary? He needs he needs one bad, bro. He's going to stone now. His wood eco still doesn't look good at all. Yeah. No horse collar also really hurts with Chinese, right? So these farms are being placed. They're going to expire. That's Texas. At least they are it's Chinese fine. farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I, you know, might not need the siege if he can get 12 knights, 12 light cav. He's, he's really massing a lot more light cav than I expected here, and he's got so much on food. And we have redemption from Hera, so he's maybe thinking siege, but might just only be converting a couple of houses as it stands. Hera takes the vill lead. Hera takes the vill lead. Should he go pikeman here? I feel like this is where you have to consider that move. Once you mm -hmm. see that many light cav, you definitely want something other than just monks. Not a very Hera thing these days, though. Hera loves to just make more monks. And Aztecs are good at that. Hera also with three relics with Aztecs. No joke. Here we go. This is the... the oh, this is going to be a huge clear Big up. Big fight. Big fight. Delete the houses. Get him out. Get him out. Delete the houses. He goes through the crossbows. Doesn't quite go th through the units. He just finds a way to weasel in between. And the knights are trying to get in front. Can Leary find a good position here with the knights? He's waiting. He's waiting with the light cab on front so he can kill monks. Now we might see Herod be tempted to hop out. Yeah, but more light cab are going in, and this is a great engagement from Leary. Great fight for Leary. Amazing fight for Leary. And now these TCs are so exposed against plus two cavalry, right? Like, Leary can just hang out underneath these and kill Vils. He can go to the wood line. He can go back to the gold. And the important thing is he still has light cab numbers. And he's now going to have the better economy here. What you a swing. You do have to be a little bit careful because the TCs have Bodkin and, and uh, Ballistics. So you don't want to stay I, under I, here all the time. Yeah, but. as long as there's, like, if there's no villagers under there, you don't stay under. Yeah. But if you see villagers that you can potentially kill, I think you definitely do here for Leary. You've got a better eco set up behind. And I think you know you have a better eco. Look at the farming for Leary. Mm -hmm. 32 on food. And your best and now unit he's now. Now sniping monks with the light calves. Oh my god. I was just gonna say your best unit now is actually the light cav. You just you put your knights somewhere where they can rest. You don't want to toss any knights away to Hera here. That was a problem for you earlier. He he disagrees though. <laughs> he sees the monk is there and he's just gonna go in anyways. And now he's gonna leave. Okay. Interesting. How was nine on food now for Leary? Really good eco. Still no horse collar. <laughs> yeah. It is. Both players are on stone, too. Probably thinking about a castle. Hera's moving forward boldly. He doesn't have protection for these monks. Hera! Hera, you're going to lose your monks. He's charging up against the market, though. He might get conversions. No. Oh, that's a costly loss there. I felt like Hera just needed to sit back for a couple seconds, but maybe he just feels like if he does that, he loses anyways. More monks popping out. That one's very weak, actually. It will hop into the TC. And Leary diving for more with more light cav, and the knights coming in on the other side. There will be no more monks to convert the knights. There's one monk garrison in the TC there from Hera. He ejects Wait. it. Light cav goes for it. He's forced to put it back in. He's still running with the villagers. There's not enough room. In the TC. <laughs> Let me in. They say Hera is man. Hera is now getting steamrolled. Yeah. By Leary, like he had such a good position, got slightly um, surprised, I think, by the numbers from Leary. And just couldn't pull back in time. And Leary is now rolling over everything that he has. It is crazy, though. Look at the vill count. <laughs> Hera has more vills. Like, he he is dying. All, like He's losing a lot. But he continues mm -hmm. to produce more vills. So that is also why he won't be able to go pikemen, though. Because he's using his food to you know, maintain the villager count. Won't have more vills for very long. Yeah. Leary's going to continue killing. And Leary almost has enough stone for a castle. Castle forward in between those two TCs. Oof. I would love to see iron casting here. You're all in castle. 
You're attacking a lot of monks and villagers. Just everything that you hit needs to die a little bit faster here. So love to see the iron casting upgrade. More light cap moving in. More light cap killing monks. And even conversions for Leary here on the crossbows will be helpful. And more crossbows, yeah. Crossbows will just die here. Leary's done such a good job positioning his cavalry. Yep. Every time Hera tries to retreat, like that fight he took, the initial one in between their bases was beautiful. I'm so glad we weren't on the new patch with that fight. I know, yeah. <laughs> <I'm so glad. laughs> it felt fair, right? It felt fair. Like Hera yeah. was able to get away. That's why we use the we're using the old patch, because the pathing is weird in the new one. But honestly, I mean, I feel like Leary's done enough to deserve victory here. Hera's still so many crossbows in queue, but like you said, there's just not enough room in his town centers. And Leary's going to put the final nail in the coffin here. This castle will be the perfect castle to finish off this game. And a boost of confidence that Leary needed, I think, after going down 3-1. Right up against the house. Do it. <laughs> Hera's going to make Hera it. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the right move from Hera there, right? Build some buildings there to block it. Man, the micro from yeah. Leary, though. Holy. Damn, the fact that Hera still even has 78 villagers here is wild because yep. Leary has been raiding the entire time. He's killed 47. The castle will go up. Uh, oh, Leary, where it might you? not. Your military? It might Where's not. Military, he needs Leary? to engage. Uh, it will go up. He's got light cap here. Yeah, as long as he's clicking constantly. Yeah. Yeah, and once the castle's up, Hera will be forced to call it, I think. There's just so much of his There's economy no is underneath this. Yep. Should have noticed the wood line on the left. Still doesn't see that. It says, GG, well played. He was probably in a position that game when he had the crossbows, and he denied the TC where he thought, like, okay, this is me. This is my game. I, I'm going to add two TC f TCs forward. Yep. I'll control the map, and there's no way that he can push me back with this many crossbows and mugs, but unbeknownst to him, Leary added, like, 40 farms. Yeah, it was so good. Him. Just went three stable production, which is crazy. That was, that was good. I actually thought Leary had let that one slip and that Hera had him there. And it's good to see that fight. Um, back from Leary there, and I think a lot of we we saw a lot of the strengths from both civilizations. We got to see how crazy the monks can be. We got to see how crazy the Aztec economy is. Hera was able to go up to Castle so fast. Mm -hmm. Defense, offense on both food. sides, but just ridiculous oh eco God. from Leary. I mean, Leary didn't have horse collar or heavy plow, but he does have Chinese farms, which last longer, and he did have um, a wheelbarrow and handcart. Yeah. For his farmers. So the food was coming in incredibly quickly. I think Hera played well considering. I, Hera absolutely picked Aztecs here knowing that it's just not the normal type of map for them. Having the mobility of stable units is just so important here. But he was close, right? And he just needed one win out of three. He's got two more opportunities. Obviously, Leary has to win the next game. I'd love to see him win the next game and then see this go to game seven. It's a very close series. Um, but there is Arena. And uh, there is Arabia. So it, it's like kind of ending on the more standard classic versions of the maps, which is kind of cool. Should be less to the imagination there. Um, just confirming that. Yeah. So it's Hera's choice now. He could go for Arena or Arabia. He did pick Arabia, though. So I would assume he'd go that route. Here we are. Uh, Arabia, both a map that both these players are very familiar with. Uh, Hera also very familiar with his Mayans choice here. He's done it for years. Um, maybe not as recent. He definitely seems to be a bit more centered around stable units, so we'll see how he fares here. But Mayans are certainly more well-established in terms of our meta on uh, Arabia. That being said, uh, Portuguese, they're kind of good everywhere right now after a couple mm -hmm. of the tweaks that were made. Again, it's a situation where I think Portuguese were always pretty solid on all maps before, but people didn't really start to play them until they got that, that bonus where they received some wood from their berries and they've they've just look been at, so incredible look at this wood line to the left from leary holy that's a <laughs> chonker right there oh my god you could like build a little base somehow yeah like, you could somehow <laughs> like attach a rope to one of these trees and swing a villager off the map and into that back area and drop a okay, tower Tarzan, <laughs> calm down, dude. i don't want to give the devs any ideas bro but <laughs> that would be pretty sick uh, Hera's got a nice map. Other than the fact he doesn't really have like a back back wood line, he can wall in front or wall to the TC, and then he has the back berries back gold. Yeah. So very very nice map for Hera there. Wood potentially could be an issue. 
Uh, but in terms of other resources, pretty good. Leary, not a terrible map either. No, nah, it's not it's bad. Okay. You've got you've got safer wood lines against range units, which I think is the big yep. thing. Um, Hera's map can sometimes be a bit of a trap, especially with Mayans, mm -hmm. because Mayans love their walls. So Hera's got to make sure he maintains some aggression here, because if you just wall up and don't have army, you're going to have Leary crossbows behind your wood lines, and then you're probably out of this game. Dude, why did the, all the maps in TTL have so many birds? I mean, I'm not, I'm not against it. I'm just asking. Like, why, I, why did they have so many? I don't have an answer. It feels like they show up in the same spot a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, well, looking at Hera's base, them. there's a lot of birds. But then if you look, like, at Leary's base, there's one bird. Like, Kilimanjaro has, like, 11 birds on the map. Oh, that's that's something. a DE thing. that Because we just based it on the normal DE script. So that wasn't uh, us. That was just DE. I, I don't know right, why. Sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, 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 maybe T West could give us more info on that. I actually don't know. <laughs> it's just uh, Travis. What's going on? I like birds. <laughs> yeah. What's up with the birds? Give us an explanation on the birds. So I think someone's asking which Civ is better here. I, I think that Mayans are slightly better, uh, mm -hmm. but it, it it it's very close. Um, the big thing here is Portuguese need to take a little bit of initiative, and Portuguese are very similar to Chinese actually in that. They can field a double gold comp, unlike anyone mm -hmm. else. So they can go for a mix of crossbowmen and knights, a mix of crossbow. knights. Or you can just means see you can't make go the... three ranges with crossbowmen. Yeah. Well, the knight, the knight crossbow kind of makes the eagle all-in eagle play really difficult. Yeah. Uh, but we don't see Hera going towards that all-in eagle play very often. No. Usually it likes to have a couple TCs behind um, and some archers to mess around with, so... Yeah, Hera's, he, he's going for the new age Mayan builds here, where you just, you don't even make the militia like you do with Aztecs. You just go up 20 pop and then try and go into some archers most likely. It's going to be early defense for Hera. And I expect the barracks up on the front uh, for Leary. He's going double lumber camp as well. Of course, he has the potential to go with scouts. And he hasn't really seen a barracks or anything yet, so he might be a little... Worried that Hera could be coming forward with an eagle and militia right now. And Hera's not going to attempt to wall between those wood lines. Doesn't look like. Just going to wall to the TC. Keep himself safe for the time being. Probably yep. to the edge of the map. And then once he needs to secure his gold, he'll yep. just make some small walls for now. Yeah, and seeing that barracks now tells Leary that his opponent's going He's... archers. And there Leary's might... also going to go to gold. There might be spearmen trapped in here. If he oh, goes for one, or oh depending or on where scout. yeah depending on where he sets the rally point that's true if he sets it yeah. anywhere to the south of that or to the left that will get stuck god i hate it like i had that happen recently and then i deleted the house and then it was house <laughs> it's the crap I, of course <laughs> i hate this mining camp from leary i understand it i just hate it yeah it's not the best lumber camp ever i do like how he didn't do the thing that viper does sometimes where you put the two villagers in that one tile gap and trap them oh, in. Oh, yeah. Because... And then just force yourself. If your opponent plays archers and gets there, you just force yourself to delete it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I don't mind those mining camps against, like, scout builds or whatever, but if you know it's going to be archers, it's the safe play here. And, ooh, Leary, he desperately wants this win. He's going to steal a sheep. Hera's not happy about it. I'll tell you what you do here, though. You let it, you let Hera get it, and then you just bonk it with your scout. So run away. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh, he's, he's going to kill? He's, he's going to kill? The eagle, he's going to use the sheep to block the eagle when the eagle want, runs. Watch. <laughs> oh my god, let's go! Dude, that was epic, man. Stole the sheep, and the sheep hated being in, under your TC so much, he blocks you. Holy. And then, and then he dodges the TC fire from it yeah. as well. Oh Beautiful my familiar. god. And now, like, remember, Hera's kind of in the dark here. He didn't see the villagers go to gold. So he doesn't actually know. So he's assuming a lot. Like sometimes, like I think I would make a spearman because I'd be worried scouts would be coming. He's not doing that right now. Big line is set on spearmen nowadays. Retracking, so Whew. they can be useful, especially uh -oh. after you lose your eagle like that. Or yep. just make another eagle scout, but I guess your eco is kind of strained at the moment. Yeah. This is what exactly what Leary wants. He's got vision on you. He knows you're going archers, and Hera will likely be defensive. But Hera is walling up the left side. He's walling up in front of the gold as well. I would be a little surprised if Leary finds damage. It just all depends on where he goes right now. 
He might find this villager as it's trying to finish that wall. On the left. There. There is a hill. Yep. Yep, he's true. getting fletching for these two archers. So Leary could do Leary things and manage to pick one villager with two archers. Yep. He's seeing the villager wall up on the other side. Hasn't lost the scout yet. If you you don't come back with this scout, you just explore the rest of the map. You do. It's one yep. HP. Yep. Give you a lot of good vision for later. And he doesn't even like see any relics right now, for example. So let's see if Hera notices the archers. The archers haven't gone into Hera's vision yet. Oh boy. Last tile of wall, dude. Last tile of wall. All because the scout. If Hera had the eagle, this would never happen. And Leary gets through <laughs> first. That's perfect. <laughs> and this is just Leary doing Leary things. Oh Hello. man. It's crazy the value you can get from so little. And now you have to know that Hera's going to come try and kill you. So I think you actually run back. But I guess it's Leary. I would suggest that you just run away here. Uh, you see the numbers from Hera. And oh my god, his micro's insane. Oh wow. Actual value there. Yeah. Taking out one archer and a villager. Worth. Yeah. Definitely worth. Yeah, Hera has four archers now. Same for Leary. So Leary's done a better job producing because he's lost one more. And uh, the scout for Leary is invaluable in that it can track if Hera's ever coming forward. And Leary is not fully walled. So he's going to wall the right. He's going to wall the middle. And I think, honestly, I would have my archers on the hill. Just patrol on the hill instead of staying in the range. But it's not the biggest deal, right? If Hera shows up, Leary will have the numbers. Leary's archer range, I know you love this number, is at 100% Ooh, efficiency here. I do love that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's that's actually a big deal. I noticed Hera uh, had at stopped. Like 40 at some point. Yeah, yeah like when, when that happened, he stopped producing there, so... I think it's I think it's like last minute though. Is it all time? Yeah, there is all time and there's last minute. There's uh, both. If you click, if on you the click thing, it, it shows right. both. Yeah. 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 So here he is on the hill. Here is going to run in for counter damage. Didn't know where the buildings were, and now he sees Leary, and Leary is patrolling. Hera noticed. Uh, don't lose the scout. <laughs> That's so cool. And second range for Leary. God, Leary's build here. Under all this pressure, Dave, is just perfect. My goodness. How does he do this? It's I crazy. Know. I don't know. It's like he clicks up at what, 1545? Yeah. That's that's <laughs> ridiculous. Archers the entire time. Sick. It's sick, dude. A big... And Hera's not going to be that much farther behind him. Yeah. yeah. Like, this isn't a bad build for Hera. Obviously, losing the eagle and getting flexed on with the sheep block, which I've never seen before. That hurts the villager too. But you, you started with an extra vill. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, Leary is going to wall up now. I think that's a big part of it is he's able to have so much control that he doesn't have any villagers walling when other people are walling. But Hera's going to push out. Uh, Scout is just patrolling the left side until some walls come down. The Scout doesn't see anything. But if Hera ever comes up this hill, he will find Leary's archers and they're both just going to race towards crossbowmen. And he Hera can't loses fight this the unit. In feudal age. No. Yeah, he can't fight this in feudal age, and Leary's going to be fast to the castle age. So Hera needs to be very, very careful with this army. Don't get caught out here. He probably suspects that Leary is up a little bit faster than him. Yep. Um, because he lost the villager because he was defending so hard earlier, and Leary playing as Portuguese. I could be wrong, <clears throat> but if Leary executes as he's executed thus far in this game, I feel like we're headed to a game seven here. Leary is in the dream spot. He'll be getting to his upgrades faster. He has more archer units than his opponent. And Hera's wood line is mm -hmm. awful. That's where yep. you need to pressure here if you're Leary, especially because you've scouted it. You know that Hera only has one wood line. Hera will need to extend out to that other wood line in the back. And even if he does, Leary has the capability of going around back behind that yep. and ranging it. Still, he'll need to split his forces to do that as Hera immediately goes for a tower when he sees the uptime from Leary. So he's identified the wood as his issue. What can he do about it? Well, it's, it's so, so unfortunate, right? Because now, as the scout's still dodging TC fire here, now what's actually happening is Leary's going to the gold. And you're going to need that as well. Uh, Hera's upgrading his army. He's dropping the university. So he'll go for a fletching. And we actually have a, a university and a siege workshop for Leary, so he won't actually have a, sorry, not fletching, but a ballistics. Oh boy, oh boy, that's rough for Hera. Denied off that university and two villagers dead, and he's still 
positioned defensively in his own base, so he can't do any damage whatsoever to Leary. Mm -hmm. Leary getting the plus two armor as well. This is this is crazy micro here from both players. This is this is interesting too because Hera cannot get ballistics if his university does not go up. So Leary should know that. But remember, he added the Siege Workshop because he didn't know Hera's army was at home, so he doesn't have Ballistics himself yet. Crazy Her micro from Leary initially in a confined space, but once he got out in the open, Hera actually clearing up a few crossbows. Leary got some value from that, though. He killed three villagers, he delayed the university, now he's just going to back up with the crossbows and start massing up some more behind. He's already, he he's already thinking about this army is dead. He's trying to get maximum value. Hera can recover here, Dave. He's going to stone to recoup the losses from that tower. He's micring before Sipes. ballistics, though. Both players are here. And this is just giving Leary so much precious time. There's going to be more ar army coming for Leary. He doesn't know about the tower yet. Ballistics in now for Hera. Oh, this micro, dude. <laughs> this micro is insane for both. Leary will see it, and Leary just gives up on the army. But, I mean, he got value. Yep. He got so much value from that. I, I honestly, though, I, I don't like lack of ballistics. Like, I know that he has more army right now, but ballistics can swing fights. And Hera can drop a second TC if he wishes to. I'd love to see it by the stone, so you've got a wood line secured as well. Mm -hmm. Thumb ring now for Leary as well. And the siege that he added that was going to be defensive has got to roll forward right now as he gets thumb yeah. ring. Oh, uh, man. Well, I guess Leary's like, I can dodge ballistics. He can dodge ballistics. Can he dodge uh, the thumb ring from thumb ring? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if, what Hera ends up doing here. There, there's definitely an opportunity for him now. As Leary's sending everything forward, Hera's finally moving out. Uh, okay, never mind. Hera sees the crossbowman. And actually, that tower should tell Leary that Hera has ballistics. Mm -hmm. Because it's not missing the uh, the shots on the units there. I, th I think he had part of that fight with Hera having ballistics anyway, so he should know. Yeah, maybe. He's going to get confirmation right here, Yeah, though, that should tell him. that crossbow dies. Yeah, that should tell so him. he knows 100%. There, there could be some slight concern there, but there's also massive concern for Hera here, who's just chasing. And here we go. I prefer Thumb Ring in this fight. Between these two, I think Thumb Ring is going to make a bigger difference than Ballistics here. Oh, man. If those crossbows get in, Leary's like, I'm going to go in. Let's see. Thumb Ring is definitely playing its role. Leary's going to use part of the group to dodge back and forth. The other's just going to fire all the time, Dave. And you're right, Thumb Ring's just making a big difference in the fire rate here. This is before the siege comes Hera, forward, by the way. Hera's like, why did I get that tech? <laughs> why did I get ballistics? <laughs> yeah, siege will come off. forward. Still, you should mention, the, I mean, the Ecos are kind of stretched for both players. Army is really what matters here. Manganel. But more crossbows behind, which is worrying. And Hera's got a lot of weak crossbows. Tr still trying to push up this hill. But Leary doing such a good job here. Hera trying to get value from this army now that he knows he's going to die. Yeah, crazy. Crazy micro from Leary. Yep. And, and crazy aggression as he gets a nice attack around there. And now Hera's got to fully shift over to the other wood line. But Hera's going to have three town centers, Dave. So he'll drop defensive siege. He might actually have to shift off of his gold How and did... all of his farms in his base, though. Oh, man. How does he keep those TCs running? Not easily. Look at the yeah. farm eco for him. Oh my god. It's hideous. The farming eco isn't all that good for Leary either. Eco upgrades also kind of slipping. Because it's just all micro for him right now. This is the type of game that Leary would have wanted. Hera would have wanted to be on the town centers. And he's still holding on here with the potential to make siege and crossbows. That again have ballistics. I, it feels like that upgrade is not going to be clicked ever by Leary at this point. Uh, he'll get it. He, he's definitely saving up for it right now. Oh, big oh, shot on big Harris shots. crossbows. Nice shot there. Hair manages to save all but one, though, and Leary is still kind of distracted, right? He's losing some numbers back here. He's trying to attack ground where those crossbows were going to garrison, and he's still attacking the Siege Workshop at the front, though, but Hera can pop out with a Mangonel. And he does, he does. and Leary sees and it. Leary notices immediately. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And Hera with the attack round doesn't quite get the shots. Leary has to pull away again. Leary's also still moving in with the other Manganel and the crossbows. There was a hole that was left there but when Hera escaped. But how do you focus on that if you're Leary? Bruh. If he just if he were to run through and hit that woodline though, the Hera might be forced to tap. Another instance here where Hera is gonna pop out immediately. Let's go, Hera. Six don't even let him see the flags. Boom. For Leary, by the way. Six Manganels. Where are they? Five though? now. I don't know. I, that's why I'm he confused. He forgot some. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're coming forward. 
<laughs> He's got a... He, he absolutely needs to get uh, ballistics, man. Ballistics, thumb ring. He's missing so many vil kills because of no ballistics right now. And Hera's going to have two mangonels, and two mangonels can defend. Unless he loses his Siege Workshop and he can't make more. And uh-oh, big moment for Hera in the north. He gets the shot. Leary dodges it. Oh my what God. is this? Oh, my and, word. Okay. Well, the Mangonel goes down, but so do like eight crossbows there. Meanwhile, at the front, though, Leary cleared up a crossbow army from Hera. Hera's trying to keep that Siege Workshop alive. Leary can almost send one Mangonel forward to yep. snipe the Vils. Clear up the Siege Workshop with the rest of them. Oh my god, this is crazy aggression from Leary. Hera, though, gets a clear up. The crossbows will Leary hit his woodline. Wood Leary, Leary didn't see it! He didn't see it. He should know that he there's should. stuff back there. Yeah, he should be looking there, but but obviously he's he's looking at six different spots right now. He can't add a seventh. Oh my god, four Mangonel. Okay, Hera, what can you do with this? Uh, One? Okay, one. just one. Hera's got three crossbows. There's 11 for Leary. Hera has lost villagers, hasn't killed a single one. Very similar to, to what we've seen before with these two. Hera just tends to have the better macro. Leary's got the insane aggression. Mm -hmm. This is peak Leary and peak Hera right here. This is crazy stuff. And Hera defends. Hera's defending this. And he's got, he's, he will have enough stone oh, for a castle. What a shot there from Leary. What a shot on that Mangonel max range from Hera. Hera trying to go for another Mangonel here. He said he's going to have a castle. He's still yeah, he's still pretty far away, away as he adds yeah. a TC in the north. Hera's going to add another wow. Siege Workshop in this position because it's that rough for him right now, and he knows he needs Siege. The defense here from Hera. Beautiful. Double Siege Workshop defense. Beautiful. He's going to have four TCs, but behind this, Leary is queuing up bills from three town centers. Don't and ask me how. has not been dealt with. Yeah, don't ask me how. Leary has had been able to get that level of macro. It's beautiful. But Hera's defense as well has been amazing. As he's, he has two Siege Workshops right now, and he gets some great defensive <laughs> engagements. He's surviving somehow. Continues to hold. Oh, my God. Leary sending these Mangonels forward one at a time from the Siege Workshop and, like, the other side of the map. Yeah. Love to see, I, I know I've said it a million times, that Ballistics upgrade, a lot of villagers could have died. They're now, I like this from Leary. He's, he's just going to say, okay, I'll take your wood. I'm, not, I'm done doing playing that game. I can mm -hmm. still do it, so I'll make you respect me, but I'm just going to hit those wood lines now. Uh, the two crossbows on the left accomplished a similar thing. So much happening in this game. This has been the most exciting game of the series for me. And oh nice my shot. god. What an attack. He knew Hera was going to dip back. He's like, yeah. I'm never getting him with the, the predictable shot. I'm going to get him with the one behind. And Hera will finally lose that one Siege Workshop. He's heavy on stone right now, Dave. He's actually on four TCs, but it might be three pretty soon. Leary has more Mangonels coming for it. That Siege Workshop, I want to see like how much production that's had all time. It's been active 60% of the time. That's a lot for a Siege Workshop when you're also yeah. booming and making crossbows. The thing is, there are many players, right, within the top 100 that can apply aggression like Leary's doing. I don't know if there's anyone that can have 34 farms at the same time. Mm -hmm. Not a single one. It's just incredible. The Harrow will drop the castle, Dave. It's, it's behind that TC on the hill. He will have to yeah. give up that TC, which is the smart move. And big shot here? No. Nope. Leary saw it. Of course it. not. Why would there be? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Leary's transferred Leary to stone now. So he could go for a castle. He's in a, a position castle. soon. Yeah, and he's in a position soon to click up. He's got 25 on gold. He's got 32 on food. He also could lose all of his army to Hera. And oh boy. He is human. Playing a dangerous he's game here. He's very aggressive too. <laughs> Moving forward <laughs> like that. <laughs> He did dodge the shot, to be fair, but goddamn. Yeah. And Dodge is there. No, he doesn't. Has the repair villagers. Again, no ballistics upgrade. Gets a big shot there. Hera. Still behind in the Manganel numbers. And TC from Hera, though, helping. And oh my god, Leary, you're insane, dude. He's he just nuts. insane. It's unbelievable, man. This is this is one of the best displays of, like, crossbow, mango, macro that you'll see in Age of Empires 2. This... this guy is just incredible how does he have 94 villagers with that economy behind I don't this i don't know i don't know i don't know how does he have 30 farms i don't know yep 
Well, that, that wasn't his best moment there, but he, he follows it up with a nice dodge there. And both players trying to mind game with the positions here. And Hera actually takes out the mango with his plumes. And still holding to that TC there, Hera. Great defense from Hera. And this could all slip away for Leary. Uh, Hera could always push back with plumed archers nice and shot. mangoes. Loses the mangonel. <laughs> and Hera still trying to take that gold. He's desperately trying to take that gold this entire time. This would take us to a game seven in this semifinal, which would be on Arena, where we think Hera does have the better civilizations available. Oh my god, Hera, you like waited for the to the last second there? Like he wasn't paying attention and then sniped? Bro, Hera has so much on gold right now. Look at his back gold, his main gold, 24 over there. He's got the gold at the front too. Oh, the plumes, plumes are coming in. I don't know how they didn't get domed there by that Mangonel shot, but they found a way in. There we go. Other Mangonel <laughs> shot lands. Hera loses the Mangonel to the left. Leary demolishing him now and just now getting ballistics, which is really which is help. Which is insane, yeah. Uh, this has been an amazing game from Hera. It's been Background. an even better game from Leary. Fr from the start, with the sheep, dude. Yep. Yep. He asserted dominance in the Dark Age. I think any other player crumbles here against yeah. this. They would Hera lose, they would lose their survive. push, and then Hera would have yeah. crazy eco, and then crazy things could happen. Absolutely. Here comes the castle from Leary. Can he keep the Mangonel alive? He's got the crossbows here. He's got ballistics. The plumes can't push in there. There's no mangonels from Hera. They're coming from the left side, not the right side. This castle will go down. Wolf is trying to deny it for Hera, but Leary is going to be an imp with a castle forward on a hill. And Hera is going to be... Well, he has enough stone for another castle, maybe. I think, yeah, maybe you buy yourself imp here and you hope to win the treb war if you're Hera. I think that's your only way back. That wolf just harassed more of Leary's economy than Hera has in this game. <laughs> like, Hera hasn't been able to be over there at all. Oh my goodness. In and out of the town center from Hera with the plumed archers. Leary, how is he not losing these? He's got so many mangonels. How does he keep track of every single one? I don't know. I have Still no dodging. Idea. What a confidence. Oh, this Hera be. might lose that under he the TC. He doesn't take any damage. What? Okay, Leary, what? can you take it out? Leary finally takes it out. What? I don't know how that Mangonel survived. I have no what? idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, he listen, knew. He listen. Did the math. Best micro in Age of Empires 2. Number one, uh. Leary. Number two, Leary. Number three, Leary. And then maybe you could say somebody else at four and five. Ay, 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 ay. What a game, Dave. Uh, Leary ties yeah. it up. We are going to a game seven in this semi. And it just feels like any time these guys play against each other, that is what it comes down to. Oh my goodness. What a ridiculous I, performance. I love the Leary. It's such a Leary-esque decision there. To go for thumb ring and the armor instead of ballistics, right? Yep. Like just, I can win these battles. Sure, he was on a hill over there, but Hera had more numbers when he was coming in. Hera should have won that fight if uh, Leary wasn't Leary. And then all of the micro with the mangonels and the crossbows in the center, unbelievable. I, I don't, I, I truly do not understand how he can have the macro that he does in those mm -hmm. types of games. It, it's ridiculous. And like, the thing is, guys, normally what happens is you go home to place five farms because you need to, and then you lose you three mangonels. Yeah, you yeah. lose three mangonels to the defender, exactly. And then this they counterattack, why... and then it's a problem. <laughs> this is why we don't see this approach more often with like, 10 crossbows in the back of someone's base with a mangonel. And then a mangonel pushing forward onto opponent's siege workshop. And then crossbows on the other side. Because you, you literally can't keep up with it. Yeah, you, you just can't. <laughs> Unless you're Leary, I guess. That was, but, that was I mean, crazy. credit to Hera as well. Holding that for so long was unbelievable. Yeah, and, and like, Hera had a good economy. And had he been able to take slightly better engagements, then maybe he could have used that economy, made plumes, switched into eagles. But yeah, that game was over. Uh, Leary would have won that one in the Imperial and Age there. How, how fitting that on a Hera versus Leary best of seven, the deciding game is going to be Arena. Arena of all <laughs> maps. Arena. Holy cow. Oh, jeez. And we should say, despite all yeah. the hype over Leary right now, that I think Hera is a better Arena player. And we think Hera has prepared better for it with terms of his Civ picks. Well, we are here. They didn't waste much time. We are catching up. And we have game seven in the semifinal. And both players are incredible. Obviously, uh, the winner of this will wait the winner of Viper Tato.
later on today. Uh, I've been so pleased, man, with how the whole season has gone, but then the playoffs, man, the level has just risen so much higher than maybe we expected. And Burgundians for Hera, many people, almost all the arena players seem to think this is number one. Uh, eco technologies and age earlier. It's cheaper as well. And then you combine that with Hera's style and how good his macro is, it's devastating. And mm -hmm. on the other side, we have Leary, and the Bohemian late game is incredible. But they don't really have a mid-game economy to compare, so we'll see if he goes aggressive here. I think the issue here for Hera is that Leary is more inclined to go for the early pressure, and I think that might be where the Burgundians are a little bit weak. Yeah, in some a ways. A lot of people would play the Bohemians here and just try and build up to help Hufnitsa and take, like, the coin flip. Like, do I have a decent enough map? Do I have a decent enough position to make that work? Mm -hmm. um, but I think Leary is going to pressure Hera. We've seen both civs dominate with aggression and defense, depending. That's what's crazy about it. But yeah, I'm with you. I think that some level of pressure is needed. For Hera, though, I think you can easily go into the light cap play. Um, very interesting build by him, by the way. He's currently got zero on wood as he builds a house with one of his lumberjacks. But yeah, I think you could actually go for uh, the light cap play to fight for map control and then adapt from there. So if you see pikemen or monks, you can just always add in something combined with the light cab because the light cab upgrades also half off. I just don't see how you can go wrong with that. They have so much, they have so many things that synergize well for arena. Yep. I just don't see, I don't see Burgundians all that often in these sets. I guess they're banned out a lot, but they were usually banned it's so Turks, frequently. Bengalis, Bohemians. Yeah, they were, they were banned a lot. Um, the one instance where I, I've seen Burgundian struggle is against a lot of gunpowder. So Burgundians mm -hmm. have struggled against the Portuguese and the Turk all ins. But Leary, you're pushing this deer the wrong way, bro. Where are you going with this? Yeah, what? <laughs> this is, <laughs> he didn't this... just do one push. He did like three pushes. <laughs> but you go back to your family. Stay there. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, he's waiting. He uh, actually, he, this might be intentional because he wants to make sure there's not decay, mm. which is not something that oh, a why, lot of Arabia players think about. It? <laughs> like, why push it back? <laughs> <laughs> He's bored, dude. <laughs> He's bored. Uh, uh, wait, there was a deer so from Jordan in his series against Viper that just left the walls. He doesn't. No, I saw that. And no, it didn't go back. Moment. Dude, I had a moment for three minutes. Just zoomed in on that deer. Yeah, it, it didn't go back for some reason. So it was the only thing that survived for Jordan in the end, sadly. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so he, instead of. Like, not wanting the decay. Delays pushing in the deer, but he goes for a farm anyway. Interesting strategy. Yeah, so Leary and aggression on Arena. I mean, I remember we ca we covered Ganji versus Leary. And we had said with Bohemians that the two to three monasteries is underrated. So I wonder if there's a world where he goes one bear spearman and then goes double monastery here. Maybe. The relics are. I do like. I do like his map setup. He's got the secondary gold back and the main gold. Yeah, that's is... true. It, well, it's always at the back on these generations, but it's safe. I think the relics will favor Hera if he goes for light calf because some of these relics are a bit further away. Sometimes you'll have them closer to the walls. There are two relics pretty close to Leary's walls, though. So. Mm -hmm. All right, Hera. What's your build here? The build that I knew. 25 plus 2. You have the cleanest light cab boom build ever. You could do everything, no problem. Hera has been going up a little bit faster and cutting some corners with some builds. So I could see him going maybe like 25 or, or 24, but yeah, he's going to add the 25th right now. Or I guess the 24th build, the 25th pop. Math? Math is hard, yeah. Yep. There's just too many numbers, dude. You lost me at 25th. <laughs> Well, it was 25 pop plus two is what I was thinking, just to clarify, so. You lost me. Okay, one lumber camp for Hera. I just brought that up because you made fun of me for talking about lumber camps earlier. How many lumber camps? One? Just one. Oh. Hey, you wait. When he's in castle, you wait. Because there's going to be lots of walking for those vills. But nah, this should be fine. I mean, his eco's already ahead. The only thing that's weird is uh, with the build that I mentioned... Normally, Burgundian players aren't making any farms without horse collar. So 
So he Hera did... doesn't. I've I've talked to Hera about this in person. He's like, yeah, I don't think it's bad for any Civ to make uh, their initial farms without a horse collar. Yeah, you just add them in before the second round comes in. It it's standard. Like we are so like the conversation revolving horse collar is accurate in some ways, but dude, the meta for years is twenty one pop feudals on Arabia with one farm, and nobody. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. Like Viper does it sometimes because he likes the the more casual buildup. It's just more the long term. You want to get those farm upgrades. And yeah, we'll be scouts for Hera. And there's a barracks for Leary. So I'm wondering, we've seen the Bohemians try and compete with the Lycab play before. I wonder if he's going to be thinking on that. It almost looks like he is going to go for a stable here. He's made the barracks It's just right such now. a late uptime, right? 26 Vils? Yeah, it is up. late. So late. I mean, he's, it's going to be... It seems like his resources are going to be where they need to be, so... Well, That's he good. can easily he can easily FC and get both his eco upgrades at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be pretty clean. I also, if you're going to go for a stable, Just I prefer light. to see stable market because the market yep. is really helpful uh, to yes. buy and sell resources. I think the only the only argument for stable blacksmith is that it's cheaper with Bohemians. Ah, uh, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah, and I think he might not have had the wood, so he does go for the blacksmith and the stable. And so this is going to be a oh, scout war in the middle. Cool. This is just such a late up time for Leary. Era has to be wondering, like, hmm, is that a castle drop up time? Like, what? Is, what is that? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Twenty six vils. It's so rare. Ooh, these kills could be so important. Both players are gonna be adding more scouts. Will Hera be tempted to run away? Leary wins this. Leary won it. Leary wins, and that's a nice start here, right? Because your stable upgrades aren't cheaper. You can't research eco upgrades in age earlier. Burgundians just have so many bonuses. And those are not bonuses that Leary's really going to be able to take advantage of. The only eco bonus that he has is he mines gold faster. And that can be helpful, but it's not near as helpful as all the crazy upgrades Hera has already. Yeah, here come the scouts from Hera. He's He's got 26 vils total right now. Leary, 28. Yep. So up a minute later... And Hera will be able to make the monks a bit faster. He'll be able to research Light Cav. But he already has this Castle Age Eco upgrades. Also, Hera with an opportunity to stop this scout on the left side. I think Leary's currently thinking this is another 50-50. That will change in the end. He sensed it. He's got another one coming. I, yeah. I don't... Yeah, Hera knows that Leary is going into scouts here because that one was full HP. from before. Oh, the spear! Yeah. Oh, nice dodge from Hera there was really important because i think that with the bohemian spearman that scout would have gone down first hit and mm -hmm. even a regular spearman might have hit that first hit look at the production here from leary so he goes up a little bit later but he's able to produce a bunch of scouts on his way up to castle age and now Hera is just going to be playing catch up yep even though he's in castle age prior to leary and he's going Ooh. for that second dc he's gonna be playing catch up and leary oh holding the gate open for a second if he could have got that spearman forward to hold that open yep. oh man Oh, man. Yeah, so Hera kind of cutting corners. Obviously, he's got good eco, but he didn't even get the light cab upgrade yet. And we have a light cab upgrade for Lyria. And this is what we talked about with the with the more uh, casual builds, the more relaxed builds. Having that extra villager or two just allows you to afford more and ease into mm -hmm. your strategies faster. And two monastery. I don't like the fact he's made that monastery so close to the wall, but it doesn't look like Hera's in a position to see the second one. Two Monasteries is very rare one. with Light Calf. It's not something you see a lot. So Hera actually just assumed it's one and ran away. And Leary needs to back away. Light Calf shouldn't get converted there. Uh, I would also like to see Leary heal up all his weak ones when he gets a moment. Hera's doing the same right now. And Hera needs to get Light Calf, man. You, you can't be moving out without Light Calf. That's just like arena no uh, arena rule number one. Go Light Calf with Burgundians. You're going to... It looks like you're going to have to stall TC production to get it, though. Yeah, maybe. Probably doesn't want to do that. They really should just get this relic first, bring it back, and then start healing up his units. Hera takes a fight without Light Cav. Trying to bring units back to his monks. Even husbandry coming in for Leary. Wow, Whoa. dude. So he goes up later, but he, I mean, it's it's a later Castle Age time, but he's able to afford so much. It reminds right? me so of... He, Sorry, I, I, but you're, you're spot on. I What I wanted to say is it kind of reminds me of what Hera had done in his quarterfinal game where he just invested into the map control first 
-hmm. and then adapted from there. And, and the map control against Burgundians can be so nice. Against anyone on Arena. To yeah, be fair. against anyone. Yep. I like this from Hera, though. He knows there's probably a monk out there. And then look at Leary try and run away. So Leary will lose a monk. <laughs> he'll kill. He'll actually kill a he scout, gets one. though. Yeah. He gets one, and he has husbandry here. So if we compare the speeds, the light cab are actually faster than the scouts. And he's got one in front, too. So he's going to continue blocking. We know he can block with anything. Sheep, horses, villagers. <laughs> and yes, folks, if you missed it, sheep is actually a thing in the previous game. Hera with a vill lead. Hera adding TC number three. Now, this is where it gets risky in a normal game. But Leary's not going to allow this to be a normal game, Dave. He's not going to boom. He's going to be aggressive Herod, here. Hera didn't spot the second monastery either. It looks like he should have, <laughs> yeah. but he didn't. Hera getting a light cav for delete the spearman there. Oh, he deleted the wrong unit. Oh, my oh, God, it's, Leary. It's a uh, tattoo all over again. Yeah, that, what's going <laughs> on here? The players scout, are doing yeah. that. <laughs> Man, Leary's resources right now is still 1TC. He's definitely going up to Imperial Age soon. He's definitely going to be thinking about a castle. And can he get the conversions? Oh! He's going to lose two monks. He's going to lose a third monk, right? Surely. This is so bad. Oh, he gets it. He gets it. If he can save the monk, he'll be okay. But, oh, man, that, that hurts. Nope. I guess on the bright side, he will still be able to get that relic. And he will still have a pretty crazy imp time. Heron needs to have more like have on the field. He doesn't know why. But the reason is he needs to dominate the map so he doesn't get a castle mm -hmm. on his face. Mm -hmm. Well, he sees big investment from Leary, and Hera knows that Leary can't be more than like two TC here. Yeah. Or yeah, he yeah. just added the third TC. This is so good from Hera, though. Leary doesn't know those like have looped over there. So Hera's going to kill another monk. Yuck, dude. That's so Yuck. good from Hera. It's just so easy, too. And now Leary's imp. Or on the way to imp, but Leary <laughs> can, wants to focus on coming forward right now. And he can can't. Leary grab this through the little through the little gap? <laughs> That's true. I, I think, want to see him try. <laughs> <laughs> I think if he could, they would path that way. I'm not sure. I want to see him try. I don't know. Do you take no, this fight if you're Leary? He's, oh, he hesitated. He's going to lose light calf. This could decide the game. Oh, and, God. And Hera lets him in. Hera lets him in. No, the gate closes. The gate closes. It doesn't matter, Leary, Dave. though, is losing light cap. He did manage to snag that relic through the walls, by the way. It does. It shouldn't but matter. Hera's got map control. I, I, think Leary can, I think Leary can make it work, though. He's got a barracks, and he's producing spearmen. He's got light cap here. He's got more monks, right? If he just sends the villagers forward, yep. Hera will have to engage, finally. It won't just be free monk picks. It'll be spearmen that he needs to contend with. That's true. If Hera sees Leary hit Imp, I mean, he might naturally get the resources anyways, but when he sees Leary hit Imp, he needs to stall his production of bills. Leary's coming, dude. Leary's he needs to coming. click up fast. Leary's coming. Atonement as well, which Atonement. is not <laughs> helpful go. at the moment. Uh, I would prefer to see no, Sanctity and Fervor, because it applies to your villagers, which would help your very fragile eco. And... He also doesn't have loom. Come on, Leary. Oh my god, he has no loom. Oh no, 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 He's no. Getting He's getting only fervor one first. He's getting fervor first. I mean, fervor's kind of like it's like <sighs> loom we have at home. Uh, you know? <laughs> It'll get you the Bro, HP. Oh, you gotta get loom or or sanctity. One or the other. There's sanctity. Okay, I think he's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. I would have preferred the castle more forward though. Like, you're that far behind? This needs to be happening now, right in Harris' face. Yep. Hera's going to bring the relic in on that side. I meant to say Sanctity, not Fervor, but Fervor helps, I guess. I, I guess. Hera still doesn't see this castle at all, so Leary is very fortunate there. I think he's completely forgotten about Loom. Yeah, he but probably did. I mean, he, drive this he only has one TC, right? So if he cues it behind Imp, well, he's in Imp now, I guess. Hera needs to be concerned. Yeah. This is very dangerous. He... he um, Monk Tech's coming in, and Treb are already coming out. And Leary, well, doesn't have enough stone for a follow-up, but he's going to have a three-minute advantage to Imperial Age. Uh, Leary is... Dude, there's such an important window here, and he's not taking advantage of it. you got to have that castle attacking the gate. You need to be taking down that gate. You need to pressure ASAP with every Whoa. single thing, every single tool at your disposal. He's walling him in. He's done this before. And Hera, Hera, in the last time they played each other on Arena, and they, they Hera had uh, Burgundians got walled in, was forced to go even for Onager to cut out. But Hera is already wise to this. 
He's going to send Light Cav over. He's going to try and deny this wall. He doesn't want to be walled in again. 40 villagers behind here, Leary. 40 villagers. He's going to lose that vill on the left. Good job from Hera. Hera will not lose his imp TC. It was the main TC. A little risky, actually, to do the main one. But yeah, Leary's adding more walls. So, th like, this is absolutely mm -hmm. part of his strat. He wants to make sure that Hera can't use mobility. Now, Hera's dropping ranges. Hera will likely go for chemistry when he hits imp, Dave. But as I say that, he doesn't actually have a university yet. Yeah, he's going for just archer ranges, but what do you do with the archer ranges if you don't have chemistry? Yeah, true. Let's go skirm. I could see him going skirm. He deletes the monk. The monk could have been really annoying in his base. And Leary continues to wall. The light cav are running around. Maybe they could threaten that trap, but the castle is there. Quick walls from Leary coming in. Kind of. Yeah, Hera's doing a good job to get value from the light cav. Skirms. Still, Leary's not breaking in. Can we look at Leary's food eco for just a hot minute? Oh, this minute's going to be so hot. Look at how <laughs> hot this minute it's is. A it's a hot one minute. Farm. He's got 40 food on that farm. <laughs> he has he cannot go pikemen people unless he buys the food. It has to be monks. But the funny thing is it's like monks could actually work well against skirms. If Hera isn't yeah. making more light cap, monks could actually be okay. How's that wagons could be good here too. And monks chasing down more light cap. Hera will be happy though that these monks have not advanced into his base. I still don't know what the plan is for Leary. Uh, monks. <laughs> but, That's I mean, the like, plan, apparently. if he believes he can push here, I guess is my question. Because he hasn't. Again, Castle's not attacking the walls. He could have been in already. So, if you get if you get redemption here, is Leary, and you wall up, the bomber cannons are all going to be converted by the monks. Yeah. Right. Hera's going to need castles with traps, which he simply doesn't have yet. To push this back. He's making a castle way far back there, and Leary is pushing in, and s sure, the skirmishers can snipe the monks, but the trebs are going to be very hard to kill. Can and he Leary leave? continues walling. Can he enter and, and, and retreat here? I don't think he can. He, oh, he saw Leary the stable. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's really bad this for Leary. Is so That's bad. Really That's your whole push. The monks actually are protected, though, by the trebs, which is kind of funny. How many light cap does he get? Hera put the light cap on stand ground <laughs> so that once they get converted over, Leary's trying to prepare, but the monks are in the way. He does get all of the light cap. That was he gets actually all of epic. The light cap converted, and now it's just light cap for skirt. What? Here comes the pikeman from Leary as he continues to push in. The treb is blocking the way. He needs another hole. The wall is almost complete around Hera's economy. He's trapped. <laughs> I thought that would be a bad thing there, but no, it was helpful. Oh, man. Well, I mean, Leary has to continue to push. He doesn't have a lot behind this. Pikeman do bonus damage. Hera needs more stables. He needs more production, and he needs time. Leary is here to not give him that time. Oh, wow. This is so... This is so dangerous if you're in Hera's position. You know if you can last another couple of minutes, your eco should be better. Yeah. But can you can you hold? Can the, you survive? The only thing, like right now, Hera's not losing anything super crucial to him, like a castle or a TC. You yeah. actually just wait. You you do not fight. You do not show any army, and you wait another couple minutes, and then you dive. And I think you can clear it if you're Hera. Yeah, and you just keep trebbing down monks. Yes, that's that's actually good. <laughs> but like this type of scenario, he might win the fight here. But this is the chance for Leary. If Leary gets enough conversions and can continue to snowball this. I don't know, dude. Monks are good, but there's just no eco to back this up. It looks like Hera's going to clear this. He's got his own trebs as well to push the entire pushback. Leary has no economy. And Hera's got 94 villagers. He will clear the trebs. He will clear the monks. It is going to be Hera moving to the finals here. Because this push falls flat. The walls are still here from Leary, but the monks are dead. Yeah, monks are dead. He goes for dead. another monastery. He's not giving up. <laughs> Yeah, the monastery, the, the wall. The monastery the wall. that is inside is produced another monk. But yeah, Leary calls it and says, GG, well played. Uh, take it take home. It They're home. good friends. And uh, classy from Leary, obviously. I mean, he really did try there, Dave. He tried his absolute best yep. to to go all in. And we, we know the Burgundians are going to have that economy. I honestly think the strategy could have worked for Leary if he was on two town centers. Um, mm -hmm. And he had a little bit more economy to back it up. And also, if he wouldn't have lost that engagement uh, in front of Hera's walls right before he tried yeah. to come across the map. Hera converting those light cav felt crucial timing when Leary needed to be in the middle of the map. Yeah.
It's a great. I series. think Hera did a really good job with his light cav on the middle too, distracting Leary, mm -hmm. like coming in, raiding the gold, sniping monks, everything like that. Really, really nice. It was a close run thing though, and it's yet another Hera Leary set that goes to the final game. Yep. I can't remember the last time they played that didn't go to the final game. It's ridiculous. I think the like if you have them play uh, best of seven on Arabia, I think Leary wins in a game or two. I think when you have mixed maps, Hera has better prep and slightly better strategy. And, and just slightly, mm -hmm. right? Just one game in it. Like, think about game six, the game before this. It was ridiculous what Leary had accomplished. Acropolis, the open map, ridiculous what Leary accomplished. But when you have a map like Arena or Nomad or some of the games where, you know, Hera was able to get wins today, uh, that's where Hera's experience and maybe activity shines. So congratulations to him. Uh, it will be Hera in the finals, best of seven tomorrow. And we've got another semifinal coming up that will be between two massive names, also two teammates in uh, Viper and Tato. And it, regardless of go, who goes through in that semifinal, it's going to be fun to see him up against Hera. That was awesome. Do you think Turks, if he picks Turks there, do you think that they're able to withstand that? I think Turks have a tougher time against that. No skirm, no elite skirm. Yeah, Turks have a tougher time against that just because Burgundy and Eco's bonkers. <laughs> like... So Hera, I know that Leary was all in, but still, mm -hmm. the, the difference in resources there, it feels like would only be accomplished in Burgundians versus an all in. Yeah. I love that series, though, dude. We had so many crazy highlights, so many back and forths. It, it almost felt like it was scripted. Well played to them.